but <laughs> that is indeed a lot of nuts. It's, even though it's not a nut. But yeah, my mouth is moving now. I'm not a statue anymore. Yay! Thank fuck. <laughs> but yeah, because now you get to see the other image reaction that I w we had prepped for the last stream. But for some reason, the fucking OB or OBS or whatever kind of studio wasn't working. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, guys, I gave my powers to Brian for this collaboration. So, Brian has the really cool, like, mixes in with the environment. And I'm just here. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure the citizens here in the Ace Attorney world will not mind how I look. I'm not too off the mark. Not totally. Um, but I'm sure they won't question it. Right? Right. Right. Shout out to Brian protecting my boobs. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, hello. Hello! For those of you who are just coming in, hi, my name is Michaela Laws. I'm the storyteller here in the world of fiction. Um, and we are in the world of Ace Attorney. Um, somewhere between Tokyo and America. Somewhere between there. Japanifornia. Mm, Japanifornia. Exactly. Somewhere in there. Um, what was Brian's inverse name? I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um... But yeah, so it's going to be very interesting. But yeah, to reiterate what I said at the beginning of the stream, I want individual packets of sunflower kernels. I don't want the three to five pound bag of kernels. I want individual snack packs so you can literally throw into your lunchbox to like have it just individually so I can have it once every day. That's all I want. That's all I want. All I want. Legitimately, all I want. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, Japan, America. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're on episode three, um, of, called Turnabout Samurai. Now, as to reiterate, I have zero fucking clue what this game holds for me. All I know are certain things. All I know is that at the beginning there was the thinker. We already finished the thinker investigations, the two cases at the beginning. So we know those. Um, I get very emotional, apparently, and very heated, apparently, in court, which makes me not a very good defense lawyer. But, um, yeah. Um, I know that from the back of my memory, apparently the samurai has a theme song. That from what I know, people have talked about this theme song. I don't fucking know. That's all I know about it, that they have a theme song. Um... And the last thing I know is that almost Christmas isn't Christmas. <laughs> That's all I know about Ace Attorney. That's all That's I know. That's something in the next case. Oh, yeah. And also, um, the autopsy report gets updated all the fucking time. That's all I know. That's all I legitimately know. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I will say this. The goal. The goal. Not the promise. The goal here is to finish Turnabout Samurai. This entire case. I want to get from beginning to end of Turnabout Samurai. Yeah, because this one can get a little lengthy. Okay. But yeah, but like I said, that is a goal, not a promise. Because here's the thing. As some of you have been following, you may recognize the blue hedgehog in the room. Um, and by the blue hedgehog, I mean there is a Sonic Frontiers update today that has literally gone out, that will literally go out in two hours. Um, I, being the good wife that I am, do not wish to hold my husband back from playing the Sonic Frontiers update. Because I've seen the trailer, and Sega cooked, Sonic Team cooked, and that's saying for me, as not totally a Sonic fan, but is a Sonic fan wife. <laughs> so, yeah, the big gigantic blue hedgehog in the room? Has, has pretty much limited me to trying to just finish this case. Now, that doesn't mean I'm cutting the stream short just so he can run to his blue hedgehog and pink hedgehog and fox and knuckles the echidna. That doesn't mean we're ending the stream early. No, 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 no. But I'm not going to belay it into the midnights. I'm not going to belay it. In the longest the stream is going to go is nine o'clock. So we have four hours. We have four hours from now to figure this out. Which I'm pretty sure that should be enough time to finish this case. And if we still go past that, I'm just going to be behind Mickey like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, please know that that is the goal. Please know that if we are trying to like 
If I'm not seeing things as quickly as I should be, it's because I'm trying to get through this so that way my husband can get to his Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, are we ready? Is there anything I need to clear up? Oh, right. Uh, spoilers. Um, have you, thought of, have you heard of 3rd case syndrome? You mean the Danganronpa 3rd case syndrome? Does it apply here? Does Danganronpa 3rd case syndrome apply here? A little bit. From what I remember of this case, it, the, the trials tend to go on for a bit. Okay. Um, I don't think it's as annoying as Danganronpa, but it can, it can go a bit. See, I don't find it annoying. I just find it coincidental. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I think you'll love this chapter. Oh, God, I can't read. Uh, thank you for the five. I think you'll love this chapter. Also, glad I could catch your stream tonight. I'm sending lots of virtual hugs. Thank you so much. And also, Emma with the $5. If you didn't get my message, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I did see your message. Um... I just even I really do appreciate it. Um, the thing is, we're just going to keep moving forward because the focus should not be on me leaving. The focus should be on getting the victim the help they need and the, what they want. So focus that on me. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to keep chugging through with the fiction, with the world of fiction. That's what we're going to do. Um, so um, considering how you'd be figuring out plot a lot earlier, you have it all the time. I feel it won't be solved much. I hope I I hope I'm not dumb, because here's the thing. Some parts of this game have made me feel a little dumb, a little bit of dumb, because I'm gonna like, wait, should I? And then I do it, and I'm like, oh, okay, I could, but it just kind of turned in a different direction, and like, Murr. Murr. I did press record. Um, but yeah, so, our, don't get my mic, hello, good morning. <laughs> I hit my mic with my head, I'm so sorry. Um, but are we ready to go? Are we ready to face the turnabout samurai? Yeah? Yes. You cut off. I said yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I heard, we heard of the DMC anime coming out. There's a lot of things happening with Netflix. So I was just like, Woo! Um, But goal is still trying to get to the end of this. All right. Sorry, I had to get make sure I had a drinky drink of my sip sip. Also, and I'm sorry, I still don't have my bullshit <laughs> explosion image yet. I want to get it eventually. I just haven't had the time because, you know, a lot of shit's happened in the last, like, 72 hours. So I will eventually make a objection-style bullshit <laughs> explosion. <laughs> and maybe that might become a thing. I don't know. But anyways, let's get into this. Let's stop wasting time because we have a time limit ahead of us. So let's go ahead and get going. Load the safe out? Yeah, I mean, yeah, load it. You have disgraced me for the last- Oh god! The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood! I don't know what's happening. Oh, is this a theme song? Yeah. The moon. No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see! Sorry, it's going so fast, I'm trying really hard! Oh! See when hell, evil magistrate! <laughs> the warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight! One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows! Don't miss next week's exciting episode! The Dark Messenger returns! Well, that kind of spoils things. I, I mean, apparently he returns, so like, okay! <laughs> it, it's about, it's about <laughs> as bad as Dragon Ball, where it's like, Will Frieza die in the next episode? Tune in next week in Frieza Dies! <laughs> right? For real! Well, that's great. Shout out to the five dollars. I wasn't born into Sonic the Hedgehog fandom. I only married into it. I mean, I still support my husband. I still support my husband. I mean, like, do we tell everyone now what what I bought for this because of my love for you? If you want. Sure. Fuck it. I literally bought really good seats to the Sonic Symphony for him <laughs> as my anniversary gift. Like, for, like, our five-year anniversary this year, the Sonic Symphony is coming to Chicago, and the first thing I did was get me on, get me on the update list. And the minute it went up, I was one of the first fucking people in line to grab us tickets to go to the Sonic Symphony. <laughs> because I love my husband that fucking much, and I support his love that fucking much. <laughs> so yeah, I may have married into it. I still support it. <laughs> but anyways <clears throat> moving on <sighs> October 14th 5.31pm right and, right and go law offices that rocked see you in hell 
Hell, evil magistrate! Whoa, stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick! I didn't know you were here. Uh, of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? What is the Steel Samurai? <laughs> I, 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 okay, maybe is it this show's like version of Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> oh. That's fantastic, actually, straight up. He's only the most popular TV hero, you, uh, hero, you, uh, hero for young. Oh, so this is like Saturday morning shonen. Okay, yeah, this is Saturday morning shonen. Okay, straight up. Wait, knockoff Power Rangers. Wait, hold on. You mean what is it called? Oh my god, what is the J uh, Japan um uh, Common Rider? So basically, it's Common Rider. <laughs> Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years... Honey, I'll, you're like in college? 10 years? Oh no, she's like, what, 17? Yeah, in this game, I believe she's like, around 17. Okay, cool. The, what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17! That's 17. See, I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch it with me, he's really cool! And it's really popular! When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one! I really worry about kids these days. You know, I do as well! Cause like, they have TikTok and all this, and they have TikToks, they have their social media stuff, they have tablets in school. Some kids apparently can't read at the 7th grade reading level in 7th grade. And I'm just kinda like, that's concerning as shit! So I do- I mildly worry about kids nowadays! <laughs> Gramps! Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. Is it gonna be the whole anime? Like, just around the corner. Hello, I'm the big client that was just around the corner. Well. October 16th, 8, 14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Okay. So we're waking up. Ring a ding ding. Uh, hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean that guy on the show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um. Okay, hold on. Are we sure it's not someone cosplaying as the Steel Samurai that killed a villain? Keep it going. Okay. Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No! I mean, he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with a samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick! Please, Nick! October 16th, 9.22 a.m. Wright & Cola offices. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. Do you want to say? No, you're drinking. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids' show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of mur. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. So you remember before? I, you're like literally now. It's like, hello, real life coming in. <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. I mean. Fair. All right, you know, we had to get a big client around the corner. <laughs> the victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the evil known as the Evil Magistrate, the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found struck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Oh, Maya, I am so sorry. Bro, I mean, okay, 
Was it actually Wait. okay? Was it actually him, or is it like it's someone in the Steel Samurai costume doing the deed? So it literally could be anyone who could fit in the costume. More importantly, did I, did I hear the right that he was killed by a spear, even though he's called the Steel Samurai? Yeah, I'm like, why a spear? Doesn't the samurai have no wait no because apparently the samurai has a spear like spears are samurai weapons So it's not just the samurai sword the katana or anything like that or There's a katana and there's another sword that the samurai have but they also could use multiple other weapons like a shield a spear things like that um so it's like Is it someone who could fit in the costume? So are, but are we just blaming will are we just blaming will powers? Because he was the main lead. Well, we're gonna have to figure that out in court. I. This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! Ooh. Yes? Right into law offices. Why are you answering on your personal phone? You have a work phone. Why are you answering, like, business calls on a, on a private phone? What? Nick! I, it's a steel samurai! Well, what? Yes! Yes, of course! We'll be right there! Let's go, Nick! Go? Go where? They have the steel samurai down in the detention! So what? So, I decided this will be our first case! Okay, hold the fuck up. <laughs> first of all, honey, when are you supposed to decide all this? I got a message. I will... Uh, I will talk... Uh, this, this streaming will talk after, I promise. I promise, love ya. <laughs> okay, sorry. Business thing. Um, okay. But, yeah, first of all, Maya, you are literally supposed to be just helping around the office. You're not necess necessarily the director. It literally says right and co. We are the right. You are the co. <laughs> so, hold the fuck on. So, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So, well, obviously she wants us to go. There's, okay. Should we just straight up just go? I mean, if you want the flavor text from Maya, as to like what to do and stuff. Nah, let's just. You know what? If she's that adamant, she's probably just gonna be like, go, 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 go. I'm like, oh god. Okay, let's just. Come on, Andale. October 16th, detention center, visitors room. Oh hi. <sighs> What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course, it's him. Well, Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder, at least once. Maybe twice. <laughs> Maya! Bro, chill! Like, we literally just met the guy. Chill out, <laughs> bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you say? Um. <laughs> I'm right here, you know. Uh, I, I, I know, but pretend you Something wrong? N no no This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Nah, bro, I mean like you it, it could be someone in the steel samurai costume that literally just walked in and stabbed a guy. So like we don't know. <laughs> we don't necessarily know if you did it, but we're just kinda like you are kind of in the detention cell. We do have to ask you questions, so we apologize if we come off as, did you do it? We're gonna have to ask questions that make sure we, we know you didn't do it. D disappointed? Oh, no, no, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. You know, that, that tracks. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to work their dreams. You know that kind of just re is reminiscent of like the V show, like the like the V tuber like community. It's just kind of like I don't want to show my face because it would break immersion. It's like, bro, eventually you're gonna have to like come out of it unless you plan to, plan to be a V tuber forever and just never go out ever. <laughs> oh, I mean, technically V tubers can go out since nobody knows <laughs> what they actually look like, except business partners who have their identity. Because you can't hide your identity forever. 
So it's just like, Mrrr. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. I'm sure kids are very confused, adults are trying to protect them, and like, everyone else is just in a mild flailing panic. Drama! The drama communities are now writing up millions of YouTube videos saying, Will Powers, his real face? Like, Steel Samurai, murderer! <laughs> clickbait title! Not clickbait, gone sexual. <laughs> Not clickbait, gone sexual. <laughs> oh, buddy! <laughs> Nick! What? He's a good guy! I mean, he's good! Y yeah. He didn't do it. You're <sighs> just a fucking coin flip of judgment, Maya, aren't you? I can tell you're gonna be like the hilarious sidekick that we kind of want to bean in the head with a pillow. <laughs> it's like, please stop! Okay. First and foremost, let's talk about what the hell happened. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Y yes of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. <laughs> Goes you the five dollars! Will Powers gives off himbo energy, but I might be wrong! <laughs> Thank you for the five. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. Cool. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. So this was the day of murder? So basically this was yesterday? Okay, yesterday, yeah. 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, sorry, I know time is extremely important in this game. I need to make sure I have the information correct. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. So you arrived at 10, but you had until 5. So basically, we have a we have a time lock of 10 to 5 for you to do random shit. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Oh. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. That is a massive hole in your body, my dude. Where's the blood? I was about to say, but well, then again, censorship. Fair. He had been expertly he had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear. Yes, it's a long spear that I. That the samurai, steel samurai, uses as a weapon. Okay, so explain to me the details of the steel samurai in your relationship. Like how long you've been the steel samurai? Would anyone? Do you have a body double? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure you also have a body double. Maybe you can explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick, how could you say such? I'm literally doing my job, dude. I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. Yeah. She walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, which by the way is a fucking contradiction. Neo Old Tokyo. That, yeah, that is a very big contradiction. Fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. That would negate the point of the show. I mean, there could always be more villains. I mean, yeah, but then, like, people would be asked... It's kind of like how, like, for the Powerpuff Girls, it would always be Mojo Jojo. For, like, for the Power Rangers, they will all, uh, there would always be, no, like... Okay, no, hold on, I'm gonna stop you right there, because with the Powerpuff Girls, there's been a heap of villains that they always go against. But the one that people always remember is Mojo Jojo, and they will never kill him off. They could add more characters, but you don't have to defeat your main villain in order to add more villains. <laughs> so it makes sense. Meh. Ugh. Although... I guess he did defeat him this time. Oh, Poor buddy. Ooh, eh. I... I see. Yeah, TNT and TMNT will always have Shredder. Like, there will always be certain villains. Bebop, Rocksteady, Krang... Joker for Batman. Do we not recognize the fucking rogues gallery? I'm just Mr. saying, Freeze, you Penguin, don't have to Poison defeat- Poison Ivy, Harley you Quinn, Two-Face, Clayface. <laughs> you don't have to defeat the main villain in order to add more villains. So that's negating the point. Saying so we could add more villains, but you don't have to still- You don't have to defeat the main villain to add more villains. <laughs> but I, I, I see. 
Neo old Tokyo, who comes up with these names? All right, so what is your, do you have an alibi on all this? You literally had from 10 to 5 to do kind of fuck all at the studio. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. Okay, so you were early. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Cool. I see a busted spear. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. Okay. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. Okay. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. Okay, does anyone, can anyone corroborate on this? I saw there was a guard in the back of that flashback, and I also noticed that the spear broke during that first initial rehearsal. So, how did we get a second spear? Was the first spear a prop, and then the second spear was the real? Is that what happened? Some action hero. What would the kids think? Kids will be kids, and we'll figure it out, and there will also be a PR team kind of sweeping things, and don't even worry about it. I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Here, just use my phone and point in GPS. <laughs> wow, Nick! Let's go! You realize the kind of phone that Phoenix has, there is no GPS on there? You ex extremely fair point. I forgot this was like, what, 1987, 90? 2016. Oh my fucking god. I thought so this was the age of like the upcoming of phones. <laughs> Never mind. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. He seems like a very sweet dude. I don't necessarily have a lot of information. I literally just have my badge. Check out my attorney badge. <laughs> hey, look at my badge. Um, here. I I see. Let me guess. This guy wasn't the top suit of improv class. <laughs> Never mind! Yeah, yes and? Come on, this is yes and? <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll head to Global Studios. <coughs> October 16th, Global Studios Main Gate. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show? Awesome! Aren't you excited? I literally just found out about Steel Samurai yesterday. <laughs> Calm down, Maya. Hey, you there! You want in? You gotta go through me! Oh, this is so sorry. We're, we're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G -g gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard all about the incident, came to snoop around. I'm watching you, Wisnowski. <laughs> I just realized where my voice just came, where my voice just spawned from in my head. I'm watching you, is asking. Always watching. Use today. Something horrible happens, and I'll. Oh, oh, I can't even fucking read the fucking text this fucking quickly. God damn it! I'm just a boomer who. Whatever. I'm just gonna ramble on a lot of stuff. You need to be paying for my social security. You little shit. Why aren't you working the, the payment? Um, Nick. Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to. Youth today. Um. Wait, weren't you in the back of that flashback? Wasn't is this woman in the back of that flashback? Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know that for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers, of course he's guilty. How do I know I know everything? That's my job. Really, what's your reason for that? Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. 
So 1 and 2.30 is when that murder ass assumedly happened? I guess. Sir, do you have a steel alibi? <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. <laughs> and that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Hmm. Something smells. Something smells about that. Because, like, why are you so smug and so confident about this? Like, you are... That's swarmy. That's a little bit swarmy. So, what do you do here at the studios, specifically? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. So says literally every other Hollywood conglomerate. Please be specific. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. W wow! This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that this is a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Ham w Hammer? Jackhammer? The victim dummy. The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Okay, so can you tell me more about the victim then, if you know so much? What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on the heart, many hearts, as the ultimate action hero. He is simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. He doesn't look that handsome to me. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just looking at him like, maybe... He could go as a nice Ryu cosplayer, but otherwise, like, <laughs> I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Should I have heard that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. I mean, you should have joined his union actors and went on strike, baby! Sorry. Sorry. That's right. I was going to say, while the writer strike may have ended, the actor's the actor strike. strike are still going. So and, don't, don't, don't celebrate just yet. And there may be a video game actor strike. So, hey, yo, baby! Strikes! And it's about time for you to be heading home. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. <laughs> I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Look at my bed. <laughs> What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. Hmm. Okay, then I'm gonna have to go back and... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get the fucking... Yeah, hey. okay. Well, power... Huh? Hey! Hello. How was the studio? Terrible. They all think I didn't, don't they? We barely even got in the door. There's literally an old bag kind of blocking us. N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. Okay, um, so can you get, like, okay, the, the lady, I need a power, I need a request to get in. Um, about the security guard, the main gate to the studio. Oh, oh, the security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. She's not being unreasonable, but there's a better way to say move along. It's, there's a difference between, hey, I'm security, please move along, and get the fuck off my lawn. <laughs> there's literally a difference. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. <sighs> She's got some nerve. Do you think you can write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course. I wish you had done this before, but okay, here we are. Thank you. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. All right. I doubt it, but Wait. we're gonna try it. What? What? What, what are we waiting for? Check the alibi again. Mm, yeah, you aren't hiding anything, are you? Okay, why am I checking it? Wait, okay. 
Right, because she mentioned that he walked in. So if the security lady can corroborate, then there's an issue. What? No, I'd never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. So old lady windbag is either being paid off or he's lying out of his ass. It's one of the two. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. I, I know, I... I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? I'm wondering if she saw someone in the Steel Samurai mask and just automatically assumed it was Will. Maybe. What did she see? Doesn't seem to be lying. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet that, like, she saw someone in the samurai outfit and just blatantly just went, like, ten, like, two plus two equals fish, it's Will. So, <clears throat> yeah. Also, we, we, I keep saying this before, but chill with the caps lock, guys. <sighs> like, Sorry. take zip, your zip. finger off of the button. Alright, here we go. Hey, um, fuck out of my way. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. <laughs> yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. Powers' request given to the security lady. And we're not gonna get that back, are we? To think he would entrust his fate to use of such unreliable appearance. Answer with the five dollars, Mr. Powers. How many looks did it take to get to the center of the truth? <laughs> you know, that's an interesting question. <laughs> really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, toward the studios. Now going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, or my instructions. The good detective told- Am I about to play ping pong with someone's brain again? <laughs> Probably. Great! I get- I can't wait to see him. Hey, hey, Nick! Huh? There are maps in the security guard station. Cool. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you! Well, time to go, Nick! 50 cents! <laughs> Someone give her two nickels. Not two nickels, two quarters. I was about to say two nickels, like that's literally 10 cents. 50 cents is two quarters. Alright, so. Okay, so. Hold on. So we're at the gate, right? We're, we're at the main gate. We're at the main. Are we at the main gate or the regular gate? We're at the main gate. So we're only going to. Hold on. If we're facing the gate. If if she told us we can only go to the left. Yeah, I think we're just at the gate. So if we're facing in towards these studios, if she told us to go to the left, that's literally the employee area. She's literally a dumb fuck. Because <laughs> if we're facing well, down towards the studios. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, if we're facing down towards the studios, if she said we could only go to the left, that's literally the employee area and she's a dumb fuck. <laughs> but we're going to the right, those are the studios. <laughs> Never. Well, I, I, said, I think we're just at the gate if she mentioned that the studio is to the left. Fair enough. All right, so, okay, we're gonna move. We're, 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 hold on, wait. No, nah, I'm no point. Okay, um, all right, outside studio one, sure. I'm at gate, not main gate? Okay, cool. What the hell kind of face is that? <laughs> October 16th, studio one entrance. Oh, hey! Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Oh my god. It's time for me to play ping pong with your brain, my dude. Ah! It's that confused detective! Hey, pal. You know Prosecutor Edgers is all upset, and it's your fault. Boo-hoo. He can update his fucking autopsy report for it to make him feel self feel better. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Oh, oh, who cares? I wanted to jump off of buildings when I'm depressed. Shut the fuck up. Um... So that got really dark, and I'm so sorry that slipped. But <laughs> I got real dark. I'm um, so. Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing its sloppy detective work! Yeah. 
You got told off by a 17 year old. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> God damn it! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, bitch! Get caught! <laughs> Still going. Um. Detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I. I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. That's the spirit. Now we'll maybe get two brain cells banging together with that skull of yours. Hey. What exactly are you two doing here? Um, I don't know. What are you doing here? I just came here to see the sights, you know, get some autographs, um, look around, learn about this, uh, samurai show that my friends inv- uh, wh why do you ask? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> um, well, we're on this case too, pal. <coughs> huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying we're a pal like that. <coughs> That's fine. my endearing character trait. You're not the only one that's, that has, like, a, like a little and little loop model at the end of your sentences, my dude. There are so many. <laughs> I'd say he's a character, all right. Okay, so since you are a detective, and I am obviously a lawyer, I need to get access to all of the evidence, potential or otherwise. So, uh, how's the investigation going? So, how's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Why not? I'm, su I'm the lawyer. I'm supposed to know the evidence. Nick... Maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions? Right, so, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm. Right, right. That's still directly asking for evidence. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Thank you, and I swear to God, this gets updated mid-case, I'm throwing shit. Time of death, 10.15 at 2.30 p.m. Okay, so the body was found, what, at 5? Surrounded by security. So the, the so, body's yeah. been dead for two and a half hours. So pierced to the chest by a spear. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Uh, why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murders are placed right over there in Studio One. Okay. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. Okay. Hold on, wait a minute. When did sh when did security lady say she saw Will go in to 2:30? I don't know. Hmm. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. Okay. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2:30 p.m. Okay. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. Okay, cool. No one else, pal. Now, was it Will Powers or was it someone dressed as the Steel Samurai? Everything I'm lying. Ask the security lady at the main gate. She already corroborated with the story. It's all good. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for the cheering me up. Alright, uh, the security lady. Has she told you literally anything else? About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady? What a charmer. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm a fucking charmer. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. That's mildly stereotypical, but if you took it, then that's on you, buddy. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority! She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What?! Uh, really? I doubt it's anything that decisive. I don't know, maybe I'll be the judge of that. What kind of evidence? Well, that, er, photo. 
The photo of the Steel Samurai headed towards the scene of the crime. So it was someone cosplaying as the Steel Samurai, so it can't... That is reasonable doubt that it could be Will Powers. Could anyone can dress up as the Steel Samurai and walk in and confuse the security lady? What? Who took that? See the camera up on that gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Okay, alright. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! No, we're not, Maya! Oh, chill out! It literally is someone in a costume! Anyone could put on a mask and pretend to be someone else! Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Why are we asking for your permission? Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. But I mean, we're still going to take them regardless. Ping pong. Ping pong! I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go! You got a free pass to the place! Now's our chance to check things out! Okay, is there anything else I can talk to you about? Nope, we're pretty good. Um... Actually, can you tell me about the employee area that, that I'm not allowed to go to? Um, Detective, any ideas about this? Look, I don't got time to look at every little trick that you got, okay, pal? I'm- okay, I guess- I guess we're not gonna talk about it, alright. So- Hold it. Holding. Oh, gotta examine. Oh, hey, the fucking camera. Hey, there's a camera right there. That's the camera that took the pictures, right? That's a security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. Yeah. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went there. Now, is it who went there or is it just taking the shot and it's just making the assumption? There's a number plate on the camera. Oh, shit. I missed that one up. What? ST1307. Uh, wait. Nope. That... Yep, hold on. Is there- there's no way to go back and check. <laughs> Again, I just said it. ST1307. ST1307, thank you. That must be the camera ID number. Okay, good to know. I have that. So, what the fuck is this? The studio mascot. Well, obviously, but why is his head off? I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? And why is his head off of his shoulders? Press R? That doesn't help me. <laughs> He's holding a sign in his hand. Right, to Studio 1. Left, to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of... busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. Really? What kind of material is that statue? It took the tree down with the two. Wait. Okay, hold on. Then literally the wind is going in two fucking directions. Cause if the head went like boop, and the tree went like boop, so it would literally have to come toward us first and then in the other direction and then smash the thing onto the side on top of the tree. <laughs> like that something's not adding up there, but it's like I don't know if that's even fucking relevant to this fucking case. Detective Gumshoe, what's down the path of the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh, yeah. That was kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. Why? There's nothing down there, anyway. Are you- If it's dangerous- If it's, there's nothing down there, why is it dangerous? That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. So, Studio 2 is that way. Okay. Then Studio 1 is that way. Is there anything that- enters yeah, to Studio 1. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it all out, Nick! Hey! It's locked! Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense. It makes sense that we would keep non the non-employees out. Okay. Um, hey, Gumshoe, you got a card key? I'm gonna have to ask the security later, aren't I? Oh, I'm gonna have to ask the security lady. Nick, look! That security lady is in his guard station stuffing her face with donuts! I guess all cops like their donuts. That's stereotypical, and they're soft enough that she doesn't need teeth to chew them. <laughs> hey, you! 
Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? <laughs> she had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Okay, hold the fuck up. Um, photographic proof, hold on. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm, oh, that! I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Really? Oh, just to the left here is the gate of the camera that took the photo. It's my job to take the photos every day, you see. Okay. But, it, yeah, it's an automatic camera. But, are you sure you saw Will Powers and not a samurai costume? About the security camera. Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. I can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? It then snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos from the computer on the, over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Really? Okay. Why do I need to ask this stuff again? This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before what... 1 a.m. 1 p.m. The murder happened right around 2.30, you see. The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 is Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one who did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? Yeah! <laughs> good one, Sunny. She thinks I was joking. <laughs> yeah, so what is your fan- what is your fantasy with Mr. Hammer? Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Ah, oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was Essence? Oh yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day, making a star like him play the evil magistrate. It was a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Okay. I don't need to show you the autopsy. There's no point in me showing you an autopsy. But where do I go from here? Hmm. I could go into the employee area now. But I can't. I can't access Studio One. But maybe he, Detective Gumshoe gave me free area, so maybe I can go to the employee area now. <laughs> October sixteenth, Global Studios employee area. Okay. Nick. This is why they do all the behind-the-scenes stuff! Hey, look! This Powers' dressing room! No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around! Okay, so... So... Obviously we can go in, but so... A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Okay, so that would hinder anyone seeing. Collaborating whether or not they saw him inside the dressing room. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Sugar stuff for any of the actors. Oh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. No. Oh, wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. Okay, so... Hmm? The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone in one of the plates, minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak! That would've hit the spot! You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks! Doesn't everyone? Hello? <laughs> what? Okay, so can we go in? The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick! Let's take a look inside! Maybe we can find something as a souvenir- Really? We're gonna steal from a fucking- No! What do you mean, fine? You never know, there might be something like... The samurai spear? You mean the murder weapon? We don't need a spear! That's the murder weapon for crying out loud! I want steak too, straight up. What is this? That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow! So okay, you can also uh, hit L to move to the other side. Okay, yeah. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry! Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Exact. Wonderful. Uh, hello? What is this? The middle grade on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate! 
Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right! Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid! You're 17. Remember the teen park? Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about this. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? <clears throat> it makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? A hill is still very hard to climb up, Phoenix! <laughs> like, that's just saying, Oh, if you're not strong enough, you can't go up Mount Everest in one shot without an oxygen tank! <laughs> it's like, really? It kind of helps! <laughs> Phoenix, please. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably near old Tokyo Castle. Which... Still, to this day, makes no goddamn sense to me. Okay, so we got the team on stage. We got this. There's a big fucking cement wall. Okay. That's not the button I want. Uh, what? Are you able to check the ladder? The ladder? No. Okay, so we're gonna go in here, I guess. We're gonna move into the dressing room. October 16th, our global studio <clears throat> dressing room. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap in here, did they? Well, the windows are frosted, so they can't see him regardless. Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Alright, let's take a look around first and foremost. Okay, so we have his wig piece here. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh, this is the wig he used as Samurai Boogie Woogie! Boogie woogie? I had to say that out loud as a line. <laughs> Nick Chen is- I'm not trying on a piece of wig! No. And how can you tell the name of the show just by looking at a wig? I- Kinda like samurai movies. Kinda. Yeah, and Brian is only slightly a Sonic fan. Don't even start. I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> this must be Power's bag! Hey, don't open that. No, 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 hold on, hold on. What the fuck you mean only slightly a Sonic fan? The fuck you mean? <laughs> the play key card, this must be Powers, is... It says Studio... Don't ignore me! <laughs> it says Studio One! Let's take it, Nick! <laughs> oh god, here we go. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Hello. What do you mean only Sonic? <laughs> I'm saying, person, you are the Maya to my Phoenix. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I love you. <laughs> I totally <laughs> oh. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Card key, how does it the court Right, fantastic. And now I can access Studio One, so perfect. Alright, so is there anything else in there? I wonder what else is inside Powers' bag? Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. Oh, damn it, okay. But I kind of wanted to look too. I mean, there's really nothing else you can look at other than just for like flavor text. Oh. There's a bunch of snacks, I must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry! You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets! Don't we all? <laughs> How many stomachs does this girl have? <laughs> so, okay. I'm wondering if, like, because it seems like there- Is there a lock on the door? It seems like someone snuck in while he was taking a nap, took a costume, and walked out in the samurai outfit. Assuming that the steel samurai outfit is in here. So, like, there's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. Yeah, see, I see... I have eagle eye. There's an empty hanger right there. So I'm wondering if someone actually just took the outfit while he was sleeping and just absconded with it. Because, like, it, it, there's pretty much evidence of someone using this as a napping place. We don't know how long the nap was, though. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Probably, and you can't see inside. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it's kind of dusty outside. Fair enough. Alright, so let's uh, move out of here. Alright, so... I'm just gonna double check this area before I leave. Going on with that nature. Okay, cool. Making sure I got everything. All right. Uh, hi. Bye. <laughs> uh, hi. I should be able to access. Can I just go here and click? 
the entrance to the Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick! I wonder if this car key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened! Alright, we're in! She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Alright, we are gone. Bye! October 16th, Studio One. Y yeah? What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so... so real! Oh, you use tape and not chalk? Wow, we're getting modern. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Alright, so let's take a look around first and foremost. So I see... ladder. Look, a ladder! Here we go. That's a step ladder. No, it's a fucking ladder! Like, I have a step ladder! I have two step ladders! That's a fucking ladder! <laughs> Phoenix, get your shit together. Well, now we know where she lands in that debate. <laughs> so, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick! Shut the fuck up, Maya! <laughs> right, so, sorry. This girl is out there! <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Wait, that's a meme? That's a meme? Ladders are memes yep. here? Yeah, because of the whole ladder versus step ladder. Step ladder, you just need to step on it. They're both the same thing, but it's like calling a rectangle a square. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. So a ladder and step ladder are literally just subsections of each other where a step ladder can be a ladder, but a ladder doesn't have to be like, hold on. A step ladder is always a ladder, but a ladder is not always a step ladder. Yeah, that's what all sheep would say. Oh my fucking god. I didn't even know this was like a thing. I didn't even know that this is a meme. <laughs> hey, look, it's the chair the director sits in. I mean, maybe the director... Y'all need to stop. Especially you, MKU. I see you smirking. Stop it. <laughs> I've always wanted to sing one of those. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. So, uh, it's a... End card. Basically, it's a star credit end card. Um, you use it to kind of mark the be so that way editors know where you mark the beginning of scenes. Um, so that way, because sometimes film th for those of you who don't know why why they use it, sometimes there will be film directors are like, no, roll it all the way through, and we'll do all the takes in one film reel. And so those markers are literally for the editors being like, okay, where's the next marker? You hear that large click in the audio, and you also see that that uh, large clack. Then you'd be like, okay. Editing starts here, and that's where we go. It's kind of like when you have audio that you're working with. Sometimes voice actors use dog um, dog clickers to kind of see the peak in the audio to know where their takes are. So yeah, um, yeah. So that's how they use it, and that's why they use it. So that way, the more yeah, you like know. This. Yeah, it's like that. If you use, if you hear that, typically that's like the beginning or the end of a take um, that you can kind of use as bookmarks to where things are. Yeah, marking or where you measuring something or counting exactly. And look! A megaphone! A real-life megaphone! You're really excited about this. Ready, Nick? Action! Why are you touching shit you shouldn't be touching? MKU is a two dollars. What are you doing, step ladder and- MKU, stop! <laughs> MKU, stop. stop! 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 This girl is more trouble than I thought. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I'll look at that in a hot second. I want to see if there's literally anything else. Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a ton- Ah, uh, that kind of camera? Very old. At least nowadays. Uh, yeah, it would be pretty- it would, it would be worth a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Oh, it's heavier than- WHY ARE YOU TOUCHING IT?! Who is this? Hey, you, don't touch that! Oh, hi! Uh, um, sorry, my, my partner is kind of, you know... You know? No, I don't know! I almost kind of want you to just keep using that voice for Penny, but I know it's going to kill your throat. Um, who are you? The, this voice right here? Or the... Who, uh, it, it, <laughs> me? Yeah. I'm just here. <laughs> no, 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 you don't have to keep doing that. Is he a long-term character? Uh, kinda? Look, never mind. <laughs> it literally killed my voice. Um... What is serial suit? Don't don't start that argument. Just just don't start that argument. <laughs> Who me? I'm an assistant here. I help with the props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. 
We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers! Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, well, Powers. WP. I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. Has to be innocent. Don't worry! Leave it to us! So, since you just came into the scene, um, do you mind holding on for a second before I go? Let me look around a little more before I talk to you. For a hot minute. Um, so this looks like the back set. Let's go back off for the stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course! That's the mountain Neo Fujiyama! Doesn't the Steel Samurai take the place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from here? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Tokyo. Oh. Right. Okay. Um, I still need to look at this. Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a... It, don't... Would you stop touching it, please? Okay, so... They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. No, I find that sus. That's actually a little suspicious that we didn't... Because here's the thing. The reason I know this is because we saw blood in the first case and a little bit in the second case. So it can't just be censoring. Huh. I wonder if the body was killed somewhere else and the body was moved here. If the body was... Uh, hmm. Yeah, that... Hmm, that flashback was sus. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, so... Okay. <clears throat> So, what? Hold on. Uh, can you take a look at the ladder one more time? I just want to see. You. Okay. I'm not getting back into this argument. God damn it! <laughs> I don't care who who they send. I'm not arguing about a ladder. <laughs> All right. So, hi. Um, where were you at the day of the crime? Did you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the one only assistant on staff that day. You see, only one assistant. Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The, the employee area, that's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go to his dressing room. Okay. But I didn't see either of them after that. Okay, so good to know. Interesting. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? Oh, what? I... No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. Oh, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything! WP was the only one who came in the studio. And he has to be the killer, even if they have a f they even have a photograph. No, no, no! Again, reasonable doubt if someone was wearing a costume. Hmm. Um... Sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, this afternoon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we've had scheduled was the action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from... outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed- Did a brat get in here? Cause that hole, that drain thing was only sized for a brat! Did a brat somehow- But a brat couldn't have killed fucking Jack Hammer, that's- So, was there like a kid that just wanted to see the behind the scenes shit? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks! That helps us a lot! Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. We don't... Like, actually, can you, like, elaborate on that? 
So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Are we really gonna question her? Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, bye. Uh, bye. October 16th, Global Studios Main Gate. <clears throat> what, you're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Um, actually... Well, I mean, I'm talking to one right now. <laughs> yeah, for real, right? <laughs> so, um... Are you sure you left no one else in here? What? I saw the suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks it was someone from the outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You were dozing off dreaming about your social security, huh? You were dreaming about the fact that your boomer ass is going to be fucking knocked out in the stream homeless because you can't use your fucking 401k, huh? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> Alright, you better tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin! Somebody's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One! Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All oh, you youngins are all like that nowadays, running at miles like there's no tomorrow thing like this and other thing. Well, I was respecting you. Back then, we were crying shame. And you used to say that. She left. Well, N Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. You clever bitch. <laughs> you clever bitch. Get in there. Get in there. Now. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Andy with the two dollars hammer slave for his death disappointment to Lamau. Ah, Nick! Maybe we can see that photo of powers of powers of this computer! Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yes! Get in there! Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One, that's when the security lady arrived at the security station. Please enter the number on the security... Which is... What's the security detail ID? 307. There. Entered. Hey! It printed out the data for that day! Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah! Come on! Come the fuck on! Oh, my God! You... Uh these fucking the security guard, the people, like the detective is stupid. Look, I I can't hide the fucking and I can't find I can't hide the text box. I can't hide it. But look at those fucking legs. Fucking Daniel going, what are those? <laughs> those? Those fucking legs can't even match the size, like the, the fucking height of that outfit. Look at that. It was someone in a costume and it barely fit. It barely fucking fit. <laughs> like Will Powers' costume probably matches to his size. Dummies! Assholes! Idiots! You can't hide your height! I know you can't hide your height! I know! I'm five! And actually, I found out from the doctor. I grew half an inch. I'm five and a half inch. I'm five feet and a half inch. So, I know! You can't hide your fucking legs! Huh? How is this- How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that- But, Phoenix, look at his feet! I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with his photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back! Well, huh? October 5th, 2 p.m. Photo number two? There was another motherfucker who tried to get away. I gotta find the fucker who tried to get away. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Someone deleted evidence! All right, powers, question mark, photo, add to the phone record. Also, do not say how old you are in chat. Yeah, I don't know. We don't talk about ages here because I expect all of you to be of age. And if you're not of age, your parents need to get you the way from this channel. Because <laughs> I swear up a storm, we talk about adult stuff and it's not my, it's, I'm not your babysitter. <laughs> you want to fucking bet I can 
hide my legs. Katie, hide your legs. Hide your legs, Katie. Hey, hey, Nick. Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. Well, put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she's... Let's not, because she might take it from us. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I give you credit for. Why, you give me the next evil magister... Really? I'm on the evil side? Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it's just a joke. So, are we done for today? No, I don't think we are. I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is the security lead. All right, what we got here? Oop. All right, so that's... Yep, it's the end of the first day. Okay, cool. Great. So now for the trial. All right, here we go. Why are you so shocked? Aren't you always playing evil women? I mean, you are correct. All right, so October 18th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. So we're just jumping right in. We're not even meeting in front of the lobby. And we're going up against Edgy Boy. Court is a session for a trial of Mr. Will Powers. Great. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show to the court at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. Only an idiot would think that, but go on! The fuck you say, right? I don't want to say- what? It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. Bullshit! <clears throat> fuck you mean bullshit. The fuck you mean nah. -uh. The fuck you mean I'll say updated. Fuck you. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. <laughs> sure. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Are you sure Vicky's the murderer because she's a son of a child? <laughs> I at least like to know who I'm killing. <laughs> Moving along. Mr. Edward, the prosecution may call his first witness. Very well, I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. Great. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? It looks pretty simple enough, but let's go on ahead. This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of this action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Hold on. May someone remind me if this was if this was not said in the the, the story thus far? Please say no, no clue. When did the first rehearsal in the employee area take place? I think it was in the the morning. Okay, so she was abscot. She was here at one p.m. after being in the employee area. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Past the security station, there is a gate. See. Past that in the studios. Okay. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Okay. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. The director wasn't there? It was just her? All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Okay. 
Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Okay. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was a murder weapon. <coughs> That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? No, I think I got it. Do I need to listen to it again? Only if you... It's just a refresher you, thing. Yeah, it's a refresher. There's no, like, extra details if you listen to it again. Okay, cool. So I'll just skip it. Hammer with the $10. Thank you so much. You have my support. I've been having a lot of trouble with everything going on. You thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the 10 I really do appreciate it. But I think I can remember that properly. Why is everyone- WHY IS EVERYONE WANTING TO TALK TO ME?! I'M IN THE MIDDLE OF WORKING! I'M GOING TO BITE ALL OF YOUR ANKLES! So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. Samurai spear was added to the court record. Okay, so this is the murder weapon. Your Honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What does the security lady at the guard station see? We can't trust her eyes. She's a boomer. She literally thinks someone in a costume that's not fit for them is literally Will Powers. Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Great. I get to, I get to interrogate her. Will the witness declare her name? <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my, aren't you a handsome fellow? Remember, she's a... Sucker for she authority. She sucks off authority. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Y your name, please. Edgeworth, I get behind me. I know you and I are on opposite sides, but get behind me. Oh, dear, ain't no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Hold on. Samurais aren't medieval. Do you realize when samurais were a thing? Yeah, samurais would be in the same-ish time period. It was it. Would it be the same time period? Yeah, it would be happening at the same time as the Renaissance. Not as uh, not the medieval, before Black Plague. Age of Samurai. Google is fucking up. Google screwy. Okay, well then. Around the same time. It's around the same time. So, and I'm thinking medieval is not like the time frame. Medieval as in like. It's also used as a turn of phrase. When you think something is medieval, you think like, oh, very old, like, instead of like, you know, an electric chair, you think of the guillotine. The guillotine is more medieval than an electric chair. So medieval in terms of that is what makes the context. So Yeah, again, from the late 12th century up until their abolition in the late 1870s. 1870s. They existed around 1400 to 1800. Yeah. So it's around the, but I think they're, we're not saying medieval as in the, the time period. We're saying medieval as in the comparison to like modern age tech. It's like saying, oh, how did one send messages back then? Bird. Oh, that's pretty medieval. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, Edgeworth, get behind me. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Old. <laughs> you just now? I didn't realize- I thought Old Bag was just the descriptor, not her actual name! <laughs> I'm such an asshole! <laughs> Actor. Winnie Old Bag, Gary. <laughs> so just call me Graham, even though I was a guy who was an old boy, but I was not really- See, a lot of the children make fun of me, and you can't even believe it, there was this boy who got to the chest with me. He called me an old bag, and I just cried and cried. Uh, objection! I- Object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. Whew. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Whew. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? 
Yes, yeah, I was. Yes, see? Yes, yeah, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone will have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. <laughs> the judge is not amused. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Paul the Hammer and the rest has been doing a run-through since that morning. I will. I had some errands to run that morning. Hmm, okay. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 p.m. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. I think you're full of shit. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I think you're full of shit. On the day of the radio station, it's the world hammer I've been going to. Uh. I want to hear more information. A run through. They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon and were to use the afternoon for practice. First, I was supposed to start at 5. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio 1 in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Yeah, he said he was late. Talk about a laid back hero. If there was a run through in the morning, why did you only get there after noon? I, well, I had some errors. Of Hold it! What were you doing? What kind of errands? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, no. Answer the question! Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard sta- I mean, if she was a fan of the work, then... It, as long as she's doing her job, you can't necessarily be mad at her. She's with the entire group. Whip a snapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job! I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I was watching Hammer's run-throughs always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a steel samurai run-through too. You could quit being spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Really? That was not taken seriously! Anyway, there's one when I got to the guard seat. Okay, that's fine. I was at the main game from then until five feet. Information. So you were watching there the whole time. No bricks. Not even a second. Uh, of course, I'm a professional, you know. Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it was just after seeing you eating those donuts at the guard station yesterday. I can't watch the game and eat donuts at the same time. Whipper sh sh snipper snapper. <laughs> Snipper snapper? Snipper whapper? Oh, I need to say that wrong. Snipper whapper? Oh, run back is losing it, Nick. Why didn't you raise it? Why didn't you raise an objection? So, the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Y yeah. Interesting to me, because a certain man rocked by me at 2 p.m. Uh... We're all whipper snappers and snipper whippers. <laughs> Two? You're sure? Sure as spit! Well, who was the man? Really? You should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Bruh. Hot meat kettle! <laughs> don't be stealing my lines. <laughs> Sorry. Now, yeah, now, don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers! That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Are you certain of this? You saw Mr. Powers. I want to clarify, you claim you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said, go wax in your hands, Sonny! Nick, this is your chance! Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him! Which is funny, because literally the day before, he said don't, you know, pull out the fucking... Mask! What? No, 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 uh... He literally said, don't pull out your secret weapon against your enemies, like, the first thing. And what's the first thing we present? Objection! A picture that she's a lying scumbag. Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, miss old bag. 
You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this, exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Oldbeck, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course, doesn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers. You're a dumb fuck. No, they can't. Thank you, Edgeworth. I... Edgeworth... Ever since I got into the scene, is your life becoming a little too hard? <clears throat> um, well, I mean, I wonder. Edgeworth, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Relax a little bit. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Er... Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. I mean... Just, again... Hot meat kettle. <laughs> However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? <laughs> Nosy old man. Bitchy old lady? <laughs> of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised?! The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Oh, Lord. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. If only that were fucking true, apparently. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. That is literally our job! Anyway, I showed you that photo- I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look! Well, yeah, because he's smart. He has, he has two Somebody brain cells. is getting another uh, deduction in pay. He has two brain cells. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't count as evidence because it doesn't show anything. Wow, well, Lindbeck has even left Edward speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. Oh, I'm fucking unhinged. I get, apparently, according to the first time I played in the first two chapters, I get extremely, <laughs> extremely passionate. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See, clear as... But, bitch, do you not see the length those feet be do? <laughs> do you see the legs of... Where is his toesies? Where are his ankles? Where is the length of his feet? <laughs> Hello, good morning. That's all I knew was powers, happy? <laughs> <laughs> She's a dumb fuck. I love it. So I sprained his ankle? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. While I eat some more nuts. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Alright, what we got? What things can I clear up? I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the steel set. Alright, what? Okay! It's like... Like, act, like, action actors do that all the fucking time. It's not like they're robots that have actual, like, algorithms to try and figure out how not to fall. So Power sprained his ankle. I have to make it better for him, of course. You hope to make it better? I can't see where it... Ew. <laughs> Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant, then? She was cleaning the backdrop, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. That's actually suspicious. Where was she? Where was she? Which should tell you something. That tells me a lot, actually. That means she wasn't there. Yeah, that's... No. 
No, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, you need bulky arms in order to kind of... No, she needs to be bulky in order to even be for the top part. The bottom part I can see, but the top part... The top part wouldn't match her. She wouldn't be the Steel Samurai. Yeah, you need to be heavy, heavily bulked just to go to that. And she's a skinny fucking stick! She's a stick! <clears throat> Moving on. He broke one of the props. This is a big... Oh. Do you mean the murder weapon? He broke a prop. Sure did! His own samurai spear! Samurai spear? Murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Samurai Spear has been updated. Perfect. So the the break in the sta shaft has been mended with duct tape. Cool. Apparently, he's sprained his ankle pretty bad. Okay, we've already corroborated that. I think we've heard enough. I'm not done cross-examining her, fuck! Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Yeah, where is it? Um... Hmm... Actually, well... We couldn't find it. Really now? Yeah, just making sure we got everything right. We're looking, though. Hmm... Anyway, that's not important. Actually, it very much is! The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. I'm gonna bonk you with a hammer, my dude, if you really think that's the case. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Uh, no! No, fuck both of you! Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. Time's still eating nuts. Honey roasted. <laughs> I also, I also want eight. That way, you can eat nuts. I was trying to help. Me. I got it. I also wonder if someone else knocked. I also wonder if someone else not- Okay, sorry. Couldn't read that for a second. <clears throat> I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? Then why did you stop her midway through, fuckwit? No need to ask twice. It's a separate testimony. Okay, cool. <clears throat> the time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? Only one person I saw through the studio before then was Will Power- We already established you're a fucking liar! No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. What about the grate? You could easily just- But a kid? Doing the act, though? Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio... Then it would have to be this Steel Samurai who did it. No, because in the back of our photo, we have photo number two. Someone erased photo number one. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Time for him yep, 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 yep. Only person I saw- Hold it! Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quack, quack, sonny. Nobody's suspicious looking pa pass by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking. Right. No one else went. Hold it! What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention. If they had, I would have seen them. I'm pressing. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get more information. Are you sure? Objection! The witness has answered the question. And if I go into the studio, I had to pass by the... Oh, that's it. Sorry, that was old bag. My bad. <laughs> Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Ed edgy boy? <laughs> Old Windbag sure has balls, or 
Well, you know what I mean. Old well, windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. And for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient! Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? The time of Warhammer's death- Okay, so... Let me take a look at this real quick. I'm not trying to present anything right now, but it's like... This, number two. That's the thing. That's- that's bugging the shit out of me. Okay, yep, no one else went in there. They had- I would have seen them. I want to present this again, but I don't know if he's actually going to call out number two. I want to present this again. And I'm, I'm assuming the bar right up there in the top right is my health or something like that? Credibility or something like that? Yeah. Okay. I'm... Phoenix, s swing for the fences. Objection! Yeah, it's not like if you fuck up once, that's it. You, ha you have multiple tries. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. Also, the way you can tell if you did things right is when the music stops. Okay. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios. Correct? Yes, sir, sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the storage station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we may have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 5th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held the data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be number one if it was really the only photo? Order! Order! Yeah, I have two chips and a Coke. <laughs> uh, I'll have a pan-fried noodle! <laughs> Please on the court, what do you mean by this, Mr. Wright? Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet, there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. <laughs> Me? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice. It means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain to this court? Um, um I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! Huh? B believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. <laughs> Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too! Are we gonna see a shift in tone? You old crackety bitch? Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right! I- I just remembered some- Oh, how- how fucking convenient! Let me guess. I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm- I'm an asshole. Go for it. Let me guess. Someone else passed by that gate? Someone other than the seal samurai? That you should have disclosed earlier? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I'm- I'm just- <laughs> This old bitch! I'm not sighing for him! I'm sighing for myself! I'm sighing because I'm frustrated at this bitch! Okay, so yeah, this seems to be third case syndrome. Okay. I see. Your testimony, please. Alright, who is this other kid? Is it a kid? Because you said whippersnapper? Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. What photo? Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. 
Well, of course, honey. I've only just remembered it. Right? <laughs> this... <laughs> go ahead. Go, 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 please. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. All right. So. Every day, one important job to do, I go through and check them. I throw out any suspicious that aren't... What constitutes as not suspicious? How exactly did you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Oldbag! Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking willpower's photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. I don't think of it. Now I remember throwing out one photo. What was on the photo? Hello, good morning. Well, who the heck was in that photo you erased? <laughs> a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai's fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. W wait a second. Did you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well... If you must know, there's a drain that goes in the employee area. Okay, so it is a kid. It's a grain has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, there's where they come in. They come in through the train? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. What? Oh, order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by that gate on their way to the studios that day? One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade? Oh, yes. Well, we, we see this type of his there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not poss impossible, for a young boy to wield a samurai spear. But there's another fucking witness, as we can't see the testimony of whether or not Will Powers was in the suit. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. I gotta say, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I raised the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Looks at old memory, bag. In my memory issues, that's going to be an issue. But moving on. October 18th, 11.08 a.m. District Court to Defendant Lobby Number 3. Were we just in Love Lobby 4? Eh, whatever. Mr. Powers? Yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I, I was sleeping. Honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff! I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. But see, there's a woman in the back of my mind that's literally screaming and, like, pointing fingers at the photo, knowing how big those fucking leggies are! Nick! But what are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. 
Damn, five minutes go by quick. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thought on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios is a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have... The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still one... Uh, no one else who could have made it... Words. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. No, there is one. Penny. Like, if we're literally thinking bodies, Penny's the only body that could potentially be. But, like... That's only just to buy us some time, unfortunately. That would be just to buy us time. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. Like you all are doing right now? Sorry, I said too much. Moving on. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was this person other than Mr. Power that could have committed murder? The assistant girl. Because there's literally no account of So I'm, I'm thinking it has to be her. It was the assistant. The Steel Samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. Objection! No alibi, fucker. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Yes, I do! Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little... Oh, yeah. Little lame? He was dragging his foot. But his, his feet don't even like the length of the, f the fucking pants! Uh-oh. Bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury? It doesn't matter the injury! It's the half it doesn't even fit him! Powers and poor Hammer are in the run-through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. I THINK! She didn't know about Powers' ankle. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injury. But that doesn't mean she has to be pretending to be a limp. She could just be trying not to step on her own feet! She could look to steal Samurai look with that costume. But she couldn't walk the steel Samurai walk. She wouldn't have limped. <laughs> that kind of takes the legs out from under that case. No! The legs! Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you, as I warned. Are you fucking kidding? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> Nobody knows my sorrow. This fight isn't over yet. If you would, Your Honor, one more chance, please. Yeah, we really just went to this side. Uh if it can't be the school grade boy, because the boy wouldn't have known, it would have to be the security lady. Because that's... I'm sorry, that's so stupid. Because even the security lady would be like, it wasn't me, and there'd be no way to prove that it would be her, potentially. It would be the only one without the fucking alibi. I'd literally well, be like... Well, it's just that, the, the, again, if she wasn't there, she wouldn't have known that he sprained his ankle and otherwise would have had a limp. But he, she could have been walking to not trip her on her own feet! That literally could have been the excuse! But that's not a walk, that's a limp. It literally says in the evidence he was dragging his leg, oh. meaning a limp. It was a security lady, Wendy old bag. Uh, who? The steel samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, old bag. W what? Whipper snapper! Order! Order! Is this true, old bag? 
Oldbag? This Mrs. Oldbag to you! Mrs. Oldbag was standing guard alone at the main gate. Miss. Miss. Whatever. She would by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. No, I'm sorry. My fucking my fucking answer was better. Like literally, she could have been tripping off her own goddamn feet and the kind of picture got into the limb. But that's not the answer. Ah! Deal with it. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection with some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? You just want old bags to get off your fucking stand. The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Isn't that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this whole away. I'm pressing this bitch. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions that day. But, but, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks the clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now the windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The ones whose photos I erased! He's only like grade school, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? Th that doesn't matter! When I was at that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds! Stops! That's kind of odd. Hmm. Get lost, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What?! How could he be so sure?! Oh, it's because... Is it be nice to kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper?! Can you mean that every day? Wait, <laughs> I have proof. But proof? Indeed. <laughs> Sorry. One, now let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. Yeah, proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? It's heavy as shit. I said, the weapon, it's heavy as shit. The boy can't lift it. Take that! Your Honor. Who is that at the card key? Oh, the samurai weapon, the murder weapon was the samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the windows care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edwards, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Okay, so we have another day. I just... Wait a second! I'm not going to sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking. What? Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify, sister. <laughs> Lamau? <laughs> Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Okay. Miss Oldberg. This is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? 
Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. <sighs> Again, my explicit bullshit <laughs> right there. Uh, one key. Oh, hold on. Let me press this first part. So, you were told not to talk? That's right. By the studio and TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sunny. We were all in on it. There were some other. Who? Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? That's what I was saying! If they like, no director? Like, that's what I was like, where the fuck were they?! Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer! St studio 2? There was a Studio- Yes, there was, Phoenix! Come on! Well, if you look at the guide map, there it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head- The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Did you press the second and fifth statement? No. Let's continue. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? Boom. The one... I already pressed this. They said they had nothing to do... Of course. So they had me present it the other day, but if... You... So they told you and you... Them? Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. But... Yep, we've already... Yes, we've already... Yep, 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 yep. Yes, yes, yes. So, it's the same fucking thing. Yep, 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 yep. We're good. Okay. Your Honor? We have learned there were others in the Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. This court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Ms. Oldbag. And more information about these other people we have just been told of. Oh no, Edgeworth, you're gonna have to stop being a sulky bitch and actually do your job. Boo-hoo. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings of the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. For reals this time. Jesus Christ. Oh, October 18th, 104 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Sorry, I just realized it's 7 o'clock, and that means I gotta update Frontier. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Wright! I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, really? It's nothing! <laughs> oh! Or should I... We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So, now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in the Steel Samurai costume? Can it really have been the old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I, I know! Look, I was just buying some time back there! Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off of Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag, I feel kind of sorry for- I don't! Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right!
right. We'll be back to visit you soon. Well, hold on. We can straight up ask him about his relationship with the director and the producer. Hello. Good morning. Thanks. Thanks, guys. We can literally ask about his relationship. Hello. Good morning. I, okay. That. Ah. Okay. 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 <laughs> hold on. Give me a hot second, because apparently everyone and their mother's trying to talk to me, and I'm like, I'm going to... I'm going to beat someone in the head. I'm going to thrash someone in the head. Hmm. For some reason, the update isn't showing up, even though it supposedly it's supposed to come out at this time. Hold on, screaming will answer later. Ah. <sighs> Ah, uh, there. Whatever. Okay. His info might not be credible as a main suspect, but still, it's good to know his relationship to the detective. So, it's, it's, it's not to the detective, to the director and producer. See, I'm just like, I'm, sc like, <laughs> I'm just screaming. I'm just like, this is bullshit! So, uh, whatever. Okay. We're gonna save again, and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go as far as we can. And Brian's gonna continue checking in to make sure the update's been valid. October 8th, right in COLA offices. Ooh, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick! Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out in, about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios! Fuck it, let's go. No, well, actually, straight up, hold on. We need to talk to the fucking... We need to talk to our fucking... Here, hi. Yeah. It's October 18th to attention center visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright. Thank you for earlier. No problem. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. So sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. Alright. So, the director, first and foremost. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes. Yes, he was. He was directing how to steal Samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Okay. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. Why? That has nothing to do with this! to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer fresh off the bar. When he loses it, he's going to lose big. I... I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? Mm, no, I sure hope not. Okay, so who's the producer then? Okay, I guess I can't ask about the producer. Do our fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. A security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Okay. Uh, what have I got? Actually, can you straight up talk about, like, how you broke this fucking thing? Regarding the murder weapon. Yes? Is it heavy? That's weird. Yeah, it's pretty hefty, yeah. Okay, so... I mean... <sighs> yeah, you'd have to be pretty fucking bulky to carry it around, regardless of how tall you were. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. So it'd have to be some bulky motherfucker. Hmm. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run-through? Oh, yes. I goofed on a round cake, you see. Happens. I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away, though. With duct tape. We heard. Okay. I don't need to ask you anything. I don't think I need to ask you anything. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and head to the studio and try and get going on there. See what we can do. October 18th, 2.16pm, Global Studios, Main Gate. No one's here. 
Right, now they have Miss Old Bag in custody. I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In the cut station, look! She left her donuts! No, no, I want donuts. What the fuck? I want donuts now, fuck! I'm fat, I know. What? I wasn't going to eat them. God damn it. Alright, so. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Huh? It looks like it was turned off for the day. Damn! Yeah. Well, shit, we can still see the screen on. I mean, yeah, it's like, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Whose car is this? Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Okay, so it just belongs to the studio. The main entrance to the studios. They probably have police officer on patrol out there. Okay, so I'm just like, can't kids just hop the fence and all that shit? It's like, no. Nah. Okay. Alright. Alright, then we're gonna just move. Um. Let's first check the employee area, and then we'll go into studio one. So. October 18th, Global Studios employee area. Look, it's an assistant girl! Hey! Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys! Oh. <laughs> Don't mention it. It's... Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover that, that drain. You mean that old? You mean that one? Oh, straight up! Wow, that's a one of us. I... I know. I'm not so good with handiwork, some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just... Lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh? Huh? Oh! Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Old Bag. Right! See you later, then! Good luck with your investigation. Okay, so let's take a look. So, this is a mess. So, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey! Hey, Nick! If that train's covered, the boy won't be able to get in! Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though. Don't you? Wh what? What? You want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can't- No! We cannot! Whoa, she's serious? Uh oh Do it. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Maybe the kid's still hiding in there, like- Like- like mole rat style. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Hiya! There. That should make the kids happy. The things we do. But why did we need to do it? But why? We could- That's security risk! The drain grid is off. And I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in- You know, one of those kids might just be a murderer, a sociopathic murderer that wants to kill people. So, like, don't blame me! Don't blame- Like, we are literally, like, the- Progression of a kid becoming a sociopathic murderer. I'm just saying. Does it make you feel great to do a good deed? No, it doesn't. Must be nice to live so free of guilt. No, it doesn't. You're putting actors at risk. Jesus. It's fine. <sighs> sure, you say that now. Okay, so let's go inside. To the main gate. Huh? Gotta go to the main gate to talk to Penny. Oh. Uh, it's not locked. Yep. We're not. We're not going in. That we borrowed that we- okay, so... Okay, so we'll just move. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, you look a little out of place! It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Okay, can I talk to you, sweetheart? Okay, so, the fanboys. Can you explain that if you see them or not? Do you get sneak in here a lot? Well... I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see the old windbag's eyes flash when, he, when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. Okay, so we now- so- Okay, the director, straight up. Give me information. I heard that something- I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were there- on, were here on the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were there, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. 
So they were trying to protect the director? Why? Why do I... Okay. If I know... If I know film industry like I kind of do, somewhat, maybe a little bit, would the producer or the director have any connection to the actors? Like, would they have beef with Powers or maybe beef with Jack Hammer or something like that? Maybe. The, uh, Ten bucks says they're beefy fucks too. The, the director and the producer are beefy fucks. So maybe, I don't know. The, yeah. More the producer, really. The producers are a real star here. Really? She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. Oh, she. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Uh, can you actually explain a little more about that? So, how are those studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. They don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bowls left over in them in the employee area? Yeah. Can you believe it? Hold on. Pardon me for my own satisfaction. Hammer. Powers. Windbag? Old bag? Windbag? <laughs> I say windbag? Sorry, I'm counting plates. I'm like, hmm. Okay, sorry. On benefit. It's purely, purely, purely selfish. 100%. Um, do I need to present anything? Nah. Okay. Um, alright. So, um, thanks for being here. Um, we're gonna fuck off. Bye. <laughs> October 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey, Nick! It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion in today's trial. So, Nick? Remember that Studio Two we heard about in today's the trial today? It was down that path in the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think so. That's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. How's our chance, Nick? Let's check it out! Before you do... Hmm? We gotta head to the dressing room. We were just at the employee dressing room. All right. The employee area, not the dressing room. Like we were just at the employee area. We didn't check the dressing room. Oh, okay. Like I was just there. Like I was just there. What the fuck? What did you do, yelling at you? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait! Wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me! Whatever, neighbors! Oh god, I wanna vomit! How can you not know the great salmonella? I wanna vomit even harder! Cause we don't like salmonella! <laughs> me and Brian have a joke that's run between us ever since he started dating me. Cause my mom... My mom overcooks chicken, because if you undercook chicken, you have the risk of getting salmonella. And so, me and my mom and my sister and my dad will always sing, we always overcook our chicken because we don't love salmonella. And so every time I cook chicken, I would constantly sing that, and now it's in Brian's head, and every time, now it's fucking, it doesn't help that we don't love salmonella. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. And I always bring up the fucking Ace Attorney character, and now you get the context. Now I have the context. Great. Really? Okay. You're the salmonella? You didn't read the line. I thought you read the line. My bad. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I just... You look so... Sorry. You do quit a rate, really. It's fine. I'm not fucking saying that. Ruffin. <laughs> Bro. I hate to say this. I hate to say this. Because I don't like to judge people on looks. That's not how I do it. I have too many people judging me on my looks. I don't like to judge people on others' looks. But my dude, sneaking around in a dressing room, sweating as if you had palmed yourself to the costumes, doesn't help the fact that you look suspicious as shit right now. <laughs> Just saying. I know what I'm going to say. He looks like he would run out of breath from peeling an orange. <laughs> well, what is it? You, I'm closer to speaking. Mm, yeah, hard, hard, hard. Oh, God, he's gross. Hey, 
Did you let a cast me? Because I cast him Roxors. Roxors? Hey, you're drooling! Eh? Hey? Buff it over and. <laughs> you should get my creative powers. Please don't touch me. Yes, yeah, it's going to be Pink Princess. She's purple, you fuck! Huh? The sequel to this year's Emory, Pink Princess, is more of Little O Tokyo. I'm sorry? Ruffle Lamau. <laughs> I'll fucking say it! <laughs> But, I mean, he's creepy as shit, but I, I'm not mad at this. <laughs> I'm not mad at this. But for Pink Princess? Why is it gonna be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Okay. Hold the fuck up. But dude... What? Uh, my question is, why are you here? We're not the day of the crime, Phoenix, you dumb fuck. Okay, sure, let's ask the question. Where were you on the day of the crime? Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. That security told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through of an action scene in the morning. They had me from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Is this guy the director? We know the producer's a female. We know the producer's a woman. Is this fuck the director? Is this guy the director? I thought he was a fanboy that somehow got in! Chat saying yes, so... Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Help! 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 Help me! Help! Help! Help me! Help me! Oh my god, help me! I missed the line! Of course I did! Cause I'm Michaela Laws and I miss shit! All the fucking- I'm fucking dumb as shit! I skipped through a bunch of shit and I'm all of a sudden dumb! I try my best in murder mysteries and there's always something I end up missing! Back with another milk. Help! Help! Help me! Help! Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Hey, I was so busy. I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. Mm. A T bone steak, was it? Yeah, suckers. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does sexers mean? <laughs> Honey. No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon until after four. With the producer and some big rigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. Hmm. Something smells off about you, and it's not just because you're sweating, my dude. What is your relationship with the actors? If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. Okay, it's a, okay, it's a producer. Relationships. Sure, let's talk about it. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez? She's a genius. Matt Squill's on the way. Scary, though. Switz. Eek! She brought back these studios back from the brink of destruction. Interesting. She is the one who made it possible for me to make this new samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Okay, so how about the bigwigs? Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the monster with the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Okay. Major tension. Switch. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They all gray-haired geezers. Scowl. Hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. 
So they all met with each other and they all stayed with each other. Okay. I want to find this producer and talk to her straight up. Okay. Now. Uh, did you see the samurai spear get broken and how you have a feeling about it? I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> She's 17, fucker. Um, let's see. Okay. You wouldn't be able to present- I wouldn't be able to present shit to you. So... Yeah, at that point now we can move on. Okay. So, um... I doubt there's anything in here I need to look into. So, um... You have fun! Bye! <gasps> Alright. Um, do 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 Okay! We're moving! Yep. Two. October 18th, uh, uh, Studio 2 entrance. This place is deserted. What the fuck? Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. H hello No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick! Let's go in! I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Do we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it! If they'll let us. Fuck it, let's just go. Wait, hold up, hold it! Let me actually take a look real quick. I see two plates. Was it just the producer and the director talking then? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe they ate early, but I don't know. I have to take a look. Okay. Ah ha! You again! Eek! How rude, acting like you seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did! They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume! Told me to put it on! Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go! I guess that would rule out her being a murderer. Anyway... No, this whippersnapper! His old lady would never forget to slight her insult! Hey, you won't be getting information out of me! My lips are sealed! You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now! What do you think? <laughs> This lady's too much. Great! How the fuck am I supposed to get the key now? Yeah, the director. About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, I think she's losing it! You know, I'm not even gonna mention the fanboy, because you obviously can't do shit about the fanboy. Alright. Is there any way I can grab the key? I guess not. Where is Penny, then? Would Penny have access? Uh, probably you have to go to the employee area. Okay. And... Penny! Bro! Who the fuck are you? Hey! Hey, wait! I bet he came right into the drain! Hey, I'm Kitty, yo! What's your name? Sport? I like... Speedboards? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that! Huh? huh? But you- you are a kid! Pot me kettle. What a rude little brat, that's the only way to talk- you, Honey, you are 17, and, and not even 18! I would say 18, you're not even an adult either! Wait until you're 20! I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick! H hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked! Babe, when you can, can you get me another duck cup, please? Thank you, appreciate your face. You've got to hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp. And pretty bad. I'm Cody! Cody Hackins! Call me Kittyo again, and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer! Okay. So this must be the fanboy that fucking old bag can't seem to nab. Okay. And I love how the show's theme song plays it here. That it clearly shows his devotion to the fucking franchise. Thank you so much. Um, so... Huh. Interesting. Little kid brat. Hmm.
you know, kid, technically in America, this is actually, like, on private property. And since you're invading private property, you could get your ass arrested. Your mom would beat the shit out of you. <laughs> no, <laughs> please don't. Um, but let's see. Uh, so, um, you're a fan of the Steel Samurai, I see. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai. How dare you utter that name, evildoer! What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side! <laughs> you can't fool me! Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? <laughs> Easy. Like some fries with that? <laughs> Not bad, kiddio. Watch it! What are they doing? Having a nerd off? They're, of course they're having a nerd off. Hello, my sweet innocent little disobedient. Hi, hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, Dolores was lifted to me. <laughs> Kitty, exactly. <clears throat> Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Of course he's not saying shit. You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... Mm-hmm. He... Always! The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! What?! But no way am I telling you losers! What? what? Wait! Let me go! The fucker has a picture. He has a camera. I know he has a picture. He has a picture of something! He has a- that little fucker has a picture of something! He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table that he bumped into on his way out. A bottle? Okay. My fucking... My fucking tingles are tingling! If that says sleeping aid, or that says any sort of, uh, barbiturates, or anything similar in nature that would put people to sleepy, then, uh, we have an issue. Why was this sitting here, I wonder? Empty bo- What did I just say? What did I just- what- what did I say? What- what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Sleeping pills. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Where does that lead? Uh, but, but, there! The dream where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about cause and effect. Okay. Um... Uh... My tingles tingled correctly. Exactly. <laughs> My tingles tingled correctly. Now, where's Penny? Hold on. Can I actually get a key from the fucking director? Because apparently old windbag won't give me the key. We're so... Okay, hey, um... Oh, Perry, you're not going to give me a fucking key. J uh, it looks like we got to head back to the gate. Okay, then, all right. It's like, all right. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick! That was her! S stop! Whipper snapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Nah! Uh oh, she tripped! Maya sure looks happy. I mean, bitch can bite, but whatever. Alright, while that's happening, don't mind me. <laughs> hey, hey, Nick! Now's our chance! Let's check out the guard station! Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key! The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Yeah, we're borrowing shit. Totally just borrowing shit, not committing a fucking crime. <laughs> we're not committing crimes here. We don't commit crimes. We're detectives, lawyers. Lawyers. We're not even detectives. We're lawyers. We're, we're moving. We're moving and grooving. <laughs> we're borrowing shit. Uh. Okay. Hello. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. I'm also kind of surprised something hasn't caught your attention yet. What? In terms of? That Penny's missing? No. What? Oh, so I'm gonna have to think. Okay, so let's think about this. Uh, you don't have to think, just look. Ah. 
Huh. Oh. Oh. Dust my eyes deceive me? Dust my eyes deny me a little bit of information? Oh, it took me a little bit. I was going way too fast. I, this is why we take things slow, ladies and gentlemen. This whole case, you've been going too fast. I know, I've been going incredibly fast because I want you to have fun with your Sonic Frontiers. My Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> I want you to have fun. Well, it's not letting me update it yet, so it looks like... Oh, there it is. There it Never is. Never mind, I'm shutting up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. So, me trying to go fast has now infiltrated my brain into missing crucial information. But, ladies, gentlemen, and those who do not bend to the whims of the binary, may I present to you, behind the HUD of the dialog box. Jesus Christ, 8 gigs? The fence is apparently 8 gigs. But, hold the phone, I believe. I believe. Even better look. Behind the fence, we have a potential penetration point. What? Does that mean Jack Hammer? Was there an altercation and he fell on it? And they tried to hide his body? Huh. 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 There was, must have been some sort of altercation where he was pushed or he fell onto the fence. And died. But where's the blood? My question is, where's the- I mean, the red flowers kind of can hide it, but like... That's a white... Base. And concrete. Where would the blood be? Where's the blood? Anyways, moving on. <clears throat> I will take it a little slow. A little. It opened. Great! Let's go, Nick! She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, done. I gotta. My fucking. I'm fucking blind. <laughs> I'm fucking blind. There we go. Oh, not that eager. All right. Hello. It's housekeeping. <laughs> October Studio Two trailer. Oh. Hello. So someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. How crispy is her voice? Probably a little crispy because she's smoking. And who might you... D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. Hello, ma'am. Um... Hi. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. <sighs> hmm. Miss Vasquez? Script. Hey, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, a script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Uh, um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. Hmm. We're getting nowhere fast. Alright, hold on. Let's see if I can find it. There would be... Will the, mm, nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and a crumpled documents. No script? It's not in here. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Looks like they had multiple samurai things. The anime samurai, samurai summer, the singing samurai, missing, I can't see the other two. It looks like they were designing the set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures on how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much of money on those sets! Oh. You're not gonna talk to us, aren't you? Huh. I don't believe you're gonna talk to us. But I know who might ha know where the script is. Director? Hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I think the director would have the script. Alright. I'll be back. Alright. Gotta go all the way to the employee area. 
Hey. Apparently, you don't have shit where I can't talk to you about it. Oh. Mm. So, we actually have to go back to... <sighs> Fucking marching my way over. Marching my happy ass over. Hello. Hi. The director. The director would have the script. There you go. About the director. Salmonella, was it? What exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. I could subpoena your ass into a trial! Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? Yeah. Yes. Actually, yes. Straight up. It's starting to look like it. Um, we really like to ask you about the Seal Samurai! Miss Vasquez, it's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. Nick, let's get out of here. Is there some place we have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Y yes? AC Manella, give him this. Well, why do we have to do your errands? I, I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. <laughs> Alright, we'll give it to him and see if, if we see him. Vasquez is making me smell fear. Memories, bring me the script for episode 13. Is that literally all it says? Like, legit? Yep. Okay. Now we go back to Salmonella. God damn it. God damn it. We're gonna march on my happy ass. So I'm gonna march all the way out here. We're gonna fucking move all the. I think it's in the middle of fucking doing a thing. And just marching all the way into the dressing room. That has to be all the way to the other side of this fucking place. Hey! Ta da! Here. I got this from the producer. Uh? <laughs> I hate this guy so much. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13, where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Swats. Uh, uh oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. Sharks. Also, motherfucker, you don't spell pwned like that. I, I, yeah. I was there at lead speech and you don't spell pwned like that. Is that it just... The P, W, N, and I guess a D if you want to add that. But yeah, you don't like, use a zero or the E. You don't use a zero or the E. It's like, no, bro. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Okay, so... I'm... Studio you, One. You got it. Alright. So... Moving. 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 Oh, it's on his fucking seat! It's right there, isn't it? We're back at the scene of the crime. It's fine when we need to get out of here quick, Nick. Alright, so- Oh, no, I don't want to move. I want to look at it. Is that the script right there? Hey, look! That's the chair that Yes, I know. Yes! The director, Maya. Take a look around for that chair for me, will you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Uh -huh! Nick done this- Oh, Really want to touch that with your bare hands? Good work! Reads episode 13. But you really want to touch that with your bare hands? Real quick, uh, sorry, I want to see the ladder again. To see if maybe there's, like, new dialogue. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow minded cultural assumptions, Nick! Right, sorry. This girl's out there. Now. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we go back to that bitch. I swear to god, if this fucking ladder thing becomes a thing on our fucking stream, I'm going to just slam a ladder over in Phoenix's head. Alright. Yeah, here we Apparently go. it's a recurring gag in the series. Uh, apparently. So. Hey! What? Should I show? No. I'll just give it to you. Like, because I don't care. I, I don't care. Here you go. Yeah, we found it. Your script. 
Ah. Script handed to D. Vasquez. I... I wish I could... I, I'm stupid. I could have read what the fucking episode was about, probably. Damn it! Um, uh... You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you, hold on! What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And, and do you even know who we are? Powers lawyers. Um, right. She did hear us. She just elects not to hear. Maya, when you deal with people like this in the entertainment industry, they do hear you. They just elect not to answer you. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Y yes, a anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the directorate of people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer in that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? I'm not interested. Look. I have to present something? No, you could just talk to her about the... Path. Oh, I thought I had to present her with something. My bad. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. The head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three o'clock. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. You're full yeah, of really shit! You really couldn't climb over the fucking tree? I smell shit. I smell bullshit coming from you. Cause you are hiding way too much information if you're trying to defend yourself that fucking hard. All you had to say is that you are trapped here. You're not trying to big and you're trying to dig into this point. You have something to do with this shit. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three o'clock to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But, but wait. What if the head fell over at after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30. Time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time. In ooks. It won ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ook. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4 o'clock. Therefore, we're innocent. You are full of shit. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2... Th Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. You are so full of shit. You are so fucking full of shit. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Mr. Could have killed Hammer. No. No, I fully, fully believe someone here absolutely had the power to kill. It's over. We're finished. Sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. I don't... Hold on. Let me see. There's a clock in the speaker in the monkey's head. They usually tell the time by Uke. The clock stops at 2.15 now. Okay. Hmm.
Hmm. Something's fishy and I don't like it. I don't- I don't fucking- Nope, that's the wrong direction! That's the wrong fucking direction. Well, there's nothing else we can do now other than heading back to the office. I know, I just want to check out something. Yeah. There are some flowers here. Ah, oh, so pretty! They're taking good care of these! Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Yeah, you don't fucking say. Hmm. No blood marks, so they must have cleaned up real fucking quick. So... Powers died here at 2.30. They moved the crane at 3. No! Yeah! No, straight up, if Powers was- if- not Powers. If Jackhammer was killed here, at 2.30, he would be trapped here until 3 o'clock. They'd have plenty of time to clean up the body and all that stuff. And then they'd drag his ass over into Studio One after the crane moved and all that stuff. And then they'd frame Powers using the costume as an alibi. It tracks. It tracks. They're all, they're all in on it. All of them. Arrest all of them. To the dungeon! Or to the dungeon! <laughs> Arrest all of them. All them rich fucks. Alright, let's head back to fucking offices. Yeah. Alright. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, did you think? I don't know who the fuck your voice is! It's a little early for giving up, did you think? Huh? You've got wind. Wrong one. Is Mia taking control of Maya again? Maybe. You've got one lead. M Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me and that she's really in trouble. Right! Oh, wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean, we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything! What?! But, but no way I'm telling you, losers! I don't know, he didn't sound like he was going to help us out at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks, now I'm more worried than I was before. Alright, fuck, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> out of breath, old bitch! If you examine the plant, you would learn that his name is Charlie. The plant's name is Charlie? Puffity puffity, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, the kid's name is Charlie or the flower's name is Charlie? The plant. The plant's name is Charlie. Okay, cool. In the office. Ah, gotcha. What's wrong? Whipper <laughs> snapper! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. Sounds <laughs> like she hasn't had any luck catching him. <laughs> hostage now, whipper snapper! A hostage? Hold on, excuse, excuse me? What's this about a hostage? Uh, and that boy was running away? He dropped this uh, and ran. Uh, and he'll come back. Uh, for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all the huffing and puffing. Phoenix! That hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Old Miss Old Bay. No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do! Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade? Hmm. I wonder. The keys? Nope. How about we finish talking to her first? Oh, fair enough. Um, what happened to the boy? If, if I see him again, I'll lay him flat! <laughs> My, what a violent old lady! Actually, I met with the director just now. 
<laughs> I don't feel so good. Is she okay? But before I go, I'd like to visit the place where the poor hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where she died. Ah, here you go. Hey, hey, that, uh, that's a car, Studio One. Right, a car key to Studio One. <sighs> I can visit poor hammer. I like to visit. He died. I was just... Eh. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag? Studio One is in my turf. <sighs> You'll let me borrow... Borrow it then? If I give her the car key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. I say lend it to her, but is, is there a way to offer it as a trade if I, if I lend it to her? Because I want to give it to her, but I'm like, I could use it in trade. Yeah, I don't think we have any more use for the car key anymore. Yeah, because I don't think we need anything in Studio One, so fuck it. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Olbeck. Car key lends to Miss Olbeck. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts and no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it! I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you, I mean, I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Steel samurai cards. Alright, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off to the studio. Okay, let's find the brat. I'm willing to bet here. There you are! Hey, you- wait a second! Phoenix, was that the boy? Yes, his name is Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. I guess we're going into the dressing room. Be sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Damn it! He's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she... Hey there! Would you mind helping us out? Please? I I'm Cody! Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I can qualify. Okay. Okay. I'm willing to bet you ain't gonna say shit until I present this. Cody, this look familiar? Hey! My you are! Ultra rare? You're ultra rare? You are- Shut up, Phoenix! You are, you know, ultra rare! That card's really hard to get! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect! Assuming the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade! And for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! But what do they teach kids in school these days? What of physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble. If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a card, we sure are dumb. He's gonna. That's gonna be his repeating fucking line, isn't it? That's gonna be his repeating fucking motto. I mean, why do I have a feeling we're talking about? Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? All right. See if he still can talk, though. Just out of curiosity. Uh. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's um the bomb. Ha! What little lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell at me like that. I'm only a kid. Fuck off. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing! Hmm, looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Nope. Okay. We gotta find a card. Hmm. 
pure curiosity. Mr. Powers is back. Now Phoenix is not polite to go through other people's belongings, but if he has a car, that'd be great! Hey, don't look at me. Tell that to your sister. You gotta go to Studio 2, the trailer. All right. All right. All right. Is there a card in here? Oh, hi. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um. Yes? The, um, girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, nope. is she even the same person as before? Nope. Totally the same person. Oh, uh, nope. She's the same as always. Just her, she, it's hot, so her cleavage is out. It's obvious it's hot. Um, same as it ever was. Posture is a little different, but it's completely fine. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Um, okay. Uh, about the fanboy. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist at the back of the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Um, actually... Would you know anything about these cards, sweetheart? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card! I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from the complete set! A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card! Huh. Wait! Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Oh. Uh. I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card! P please! I beg you! Please trade with me! Anyone else in the mood to play Chain of Memories? Ch ch trade with you? Yes! Trade cards! Look! I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card! Trade me up. Huh? Yes! It's a good I it's a good deal for your ultra rare! Please! Phoenix! Can't you see she's desperate? What's everyone gonna get so trade it? Okay. Really? The thanks! Then this is for you! An ultra rare premium uh, steel samurai collectible card. Very valuable. <laughs> and there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? I mean, that makes me feel great. Not opening up a drain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. I guess we have the card then. I guess we have the card. We're gonna go to go to the card. We gotta go. That's way where we're going. I went back the way I came. I gotta go over here. And then I gotta go over here. And then I gotta go over here. Hey, kid! <laughs> I heard you like Pokemon cards. <laughs> See this card? Yes! Yeah, so Wait! That's it! That's the last Ultra Rare Pokemon card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! Wow, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on! I'll give you the samurai spear and throw an evil magistrate to boot! No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. You are Peter. Don't give him the card yet, stupid! God, for an old guy, you sure are dumb. <laughs> Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Alright, so... Talk to me. So, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool! I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks? You have to look at his actions, his life! I'm being lectured on life by grade score. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh, me? Yeah, I... Uh, I love the Steel Samurai. So tell me, what are your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is? I would say his acting. Let's go with acting. Well, I've never even seen a full episode of that dumb show. Actually, I'm kind of a fan of Will Powers. Oh, that's totally hardcore! You're calling me hardcore? So, what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. So, tell me what about your favorite thing about Steel Samurai is, uh... Funny skills. Yeah, funny skills. I think the next thing, yeah. I think of something. 
I like it when he uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, what Sam? The Steel Samurai always wins, always. Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go every to go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands a final blow. What Sam? I got them all. I've never missed one. A perfect collection. Kid, would you have any evidence of seeing the Steel Samurai kill the evil magistrate? Check it out! My new digital camera! Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady! I just got it for my birthday! My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to glory! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. All right. What's with people always giving stuff to Maya? Ugh, what a life. To Mia. Hold on. Can I check the book? No, I can't. <gasps> um, okay, so did you take a picture of the fight? Because if you are taking pictures of every single final shot, and you're a kid who doesn't actually fucking determinate fiction from reality, you took a shot of him stabbing the, uh, the magistrate. What happened? You were there on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything! Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. Alright, what did you see, kid? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come into the woods out the back so the old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. And I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy! He used his samurai spear, just like always! One shot, one kill! It happened so fast, I got scared! And I went home after that. I... I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart! Um... Right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure that it means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So, the only person left who could have been it was Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. Hey, yo, Cody Pog. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. I still don't think it's Will Powers. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him in, then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Oh, fucking hell. Ping pong ball. I heard everything. Great! This boy here is a key witness. And he is under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precincts. N no! I ain't going! Wah! Right. But... Unless he has a photograph, we still don't know who the actual Steel Samurai was and what the situation was from the boy's eyes. So, that didn't go so well. We're back at zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! C come to the trial tomorrow, please! I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Yes. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Great. Ah. Fuck. Son of a bitch.
All right. Okay. It's eight o'clock. I'm pretty sure, like, how do we have one more day of investigating? Yeah, one more day of investigating and then another day of trial. So we have a trial, then investigation, then another trial. <laughs> I am okay with keeping going until we finish this chap uh, this episode. Are you sure? Are you I, sure? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, because I don't want to deny you this. It's not like it's a timed event where if I don't play it now, I'll never be able to play it again. Okay. As long as you're sure, then we'll keep going. Because I'm good with keeping going. Yeah, I'm good with keeping going, too. All so, right, so again, going. This is, again, one of the longer uh, episodes in the game. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Boy, I sure hope you don't start a video with that. I'm just going to start a video here. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, I'm in the lobby this time. Hey, Will. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so... unhappy? Because Gumshoe actually developed a, a surprise third brain cell when I wasn't looking and decided to use it. Uh, oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix? Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please! You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? Okay, hold on. Let's see what we got here. We can't look in here. Yeah, it's this. I think the, this bottle is probably going to be mega proof that she fell asleep during this. There'd be no way to press for evidence in terms of, like, fingerprints and all that shit. We'll figure it out. Okay. We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Ah. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Ms. Edward, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edwards. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. The director. Or that director. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? Do you know me? I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob. Raffle. <laughs> I'm a director in television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, you're ready. Hmm. Very well. Please just watch the court about the rest of that day. Phoenix? Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer that day did it. But right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. I think this is the, f the first time I'm doing the testimony. Right? For real. No! Um, you were also uh, red, white, and blue. Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah. I was at the studio from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, the action scene run through. Okay. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Wait a minute, then why were there food plates in, like, why were there food plates in trailer, in, uh, Studio 2? Who was eating then? We were in the meeting until around 4. 
to do the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Something's off. You skipped lunch? Hold on. Hold it. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yep. Does it something about that seem odd? Yes, it does, actually. Yes, it yes, it's contradictory. There is food literally in Studio 2. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mentioned it. Mr. Mandela. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what you in? Swartz. When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? No, uh, 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 good call, Schwartz. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. Gross. I mean, eating is fine, but like in the way you're saying that you ate, that's just gross. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trip, huh? I brought it to the trailer. You can actually eat it later. <laughs> Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. So there was a break. I worked it down then. <laughs> oh, mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Yep. You didn't take a single break. It will. Yeah, another one. Swartz. What's he sweating about so much, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Yes. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T bone steak during a break? Oops. Well. well. Um. Mr. Manala, what's this all about? Well, well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. No, the murder happened in Studio 2, and then it transferred the body to Studio 1 is very clear. that Because the blood was nowhere in Studio 1, and they had enough time when the monkey fell to clean up the body in Studio 2. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Eek. Why are you <laughs> giggling, you giggly fuck? Uh-oh, Edward is laughing. If you have an updated autopsy report, I will throw my shoe at you from across this courtroom. And a boot to the head. <laughs> and a boot to the head. Poop. <laughs> and one for Jenny and the wimp. <laughs> Yeah, for what it's worth, we took a break. Awful. But it was only 15 minutes. 15? That's only 13 in base 12. I don't get that one, actually. <sighs> Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, Lo. Actually, 15 minutes is enough time to commit a fucking murder. It takes two seconds minimum to kill someone. Not that we would know. I would. I'm a writer. <laughs> yeah, I would. I'm a writer. <laughs> That's only really just enough time to eat a cheap steak, if you ask me. Storms. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Alright, here we go. Yeah, a yes, of course. It was only 15 minutes. Well, what were you doing during those 15 minutes? Eating my cheap and steak. What is? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right. The other one was Diva's. Sorry. Diva's plate. Diva? 
Interesting. So we have a little bit of hostility amongst the higher ups. E. Vasquez, the producer. To get a T bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. Also, I mean, your stomach would be so upset by that, depending on the cook of the steak. As well as how big the steak is. Yeah. Somebody commit murder in Studio One. Well, that's only. Also, um. What? Press the first statement. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I. Yep, 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 yep. My bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're fine. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, god damn it. God damn it! Stop it! Shut the fuck up! I don't want to see your face! What time exactly did you take this break? Mm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30, huh? You took the break and where everyone could have left and could have committed a murder. At 2.30. Time of death. 2.30. That's the time of the death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. No, because the Hammer... Basically, when did Jack Hammer leave the employee area? Hold on. Do we have reference of when Jack Hammer left the employee area? Now, well, I guess I'm gonna have to remember a bit. If Jack Hammer left any time before 2 o'clock from the employee area, he could have went to Studio 2, got murked by that fence, and they could have carried his body over to Studio 1 after the monkey head got moved. So, that's what I'm thinking. I guess it's possible time-wise. Worth, what do you want? Why are you- why are you looking at me like that? It's only 15 minutes. Hold it. Oh, fight the- I was it, you already pressed I, that I, one. I pressed the wrong fucking button, because I keep pressing the wrong goddamn button. Nye, 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 nye. I know I have to present time of death, but when do I present time of death? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to su submit time of death. But it's a question of whether or not I have to make him confirm. Why is that- Objection. WHAT?! Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. I'm gonna smack you over the head. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone for the trailer went to Studio One? No, it'd be impossible. Because the monkey head. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio at that time. Haha. -ha. I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. Bro, I already beat your ass in a trial once before you. What makes you think I won't do it again? But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkeyhead barred the way. That is correct. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. We know this. Thank you for explaining the obvious. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edwards has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we've seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. W what? It's, it's over. It can't be Jover. <laughs> Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that all these people could have gone to Studio 1. 
They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, none, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. Y'all are stupid! Literally the fucking pants! You all are dumb! All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor. We're gonna bring the kid. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence. A witness. <laughs> Who is this witness, Mr. Edward? The kid. My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. Order? I will have order. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Okay, good, good. I gotta pee. Holy shit. <laughs> will you come back another doctor, please? Thank you. October 9th and 19th, 104 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi, that doesn't imply anything. We literally could just say, Hammer was killed in the Studio 2 and then dragged over to Studio 1. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M mia Don't tell me you're giving up! If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I have never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Okay. I'm willing to bet that Hammer was killed in Studio 2 and then brought into Studio 1 after a bunch of hardcore cleaning. <laughs> Having Hammer die would be a PR nightmare. Court and back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cool qu Oh, shut the fuck up! You're the one who is bringing him to the stand in the first place. If he can't fucking handle it, don't bring him on the stand. Don't try and defend him, you stupid! Wait, what? I'm surprised they were able to get his parents to agree to this. Nice to see Edward taking the moral high ground. Cause like, you you know like they wouldn't just let the kid decide on his own. Like I'm pretty sure they would have to talk to his yeah, parents about this kind of thing. The parents would have to consent to it. Exactly. It's like where are his parents? However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Can we get him a step stool? Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Or a step ladder. Oh. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing this right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, you mean a ladder? <laughs> God, please pick up a box. What are those Dunnacrates you do? Or a step ladder. Or a ladder. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Okay, we're gonna settle this right the fuck now. Where do you stand on this fucking issue? I need to know, or else we're going to have serious conversations about ladders and rectangles. Okay, those two don't even fucking... Don't. Just give me your side. Just. Spill it! Whichever side pisses you off more. I fucking despise you so much! <laughs> Witness. What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. 
<laughs> Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you! The nice lady! I'm Cody With Hackins! big old titties. I'm Cody Hackins! I'm in second grade! I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth? Please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Mm. Yeah, try to be gentle and try not to traumatize him and bringing him onto the stand in this very big murder case, okay, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm making fun of him because he was so wanting to protect him of this kid. How do you feel now, bitch? Witness, er, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, or er, you were at Global Studios on the day of the er, incident? You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with a beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <clears throat> M my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. If I like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me everywhere I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make note of it in the court record. All right. Very We're gonna well, have to bring Cody. up the fact that he had his camera. He probably took a fucking shot. He probably took a picture of that final stab, so we can have video, like visual evidence of what happened. I mean, yeah. After all, he did say, and I was hoping you would have took notice is that he always gets the final shot. Yeah, that's. I noticed that. It, I had a feeling that that detail was pretty important, so I'm like, okay, that means that kid absolutely took a shot. He absolutely has a picture of the final stab. So, all right, here we go. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. All right, what we got? I wanted to see a SEAL Samurai rehearsal, just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods, off the path, so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I kind of got lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. Then I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai! I totally rocked! Right before my eyes came out the bad, I came the bad guy! Of course, the steel samurai took him down! Pow! If I had my camera with me, I would've been, that would've been the time for a shot You didn't have your cam- You're full of shit! You always have your camera on you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Oh, no, 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 little boy. Oh, no. Hmm. Very well. Then the rest may begin his cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. I understand. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Now, you're a full- okay, you're full of shit. Here's the thing, I show no mercy. Child, adult, anywhere outside, inside the spectrum, I don't give a fuck. If you hide shit from me, you will be very fucking sorry. Alright. Nope. 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 If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? N no, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time! Bullshit. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out. He went, no, he didn't. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Which one? Because he has a scrapbook. For all of the first ones. So, hmm. My camera with me, I 
for the shot I'd tell you. Want to see, okay, so I want to see this yet. Yeah. I'm not something on the internet. So this is the studio. I got lost in the wave. I saw this with Samurai. I saw the rock bed. And then pow. If I have my, this is the last statement. And I feel like I need to present here. So it's either got to be the scrapbook or the camera. Because we have to basically contradict the fact that he never believes this is camera. So I'm just Check like... Check the description of the camera. New digital camera. He always carries... Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> Cody, what you said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? <laughs> that face? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? That's alright. A word with you? What? I'm being gentle! Uh oh, was I putting on the pressure too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Oh my god, about? I oh forgot my he's a god. boomer! <laughs> I forgot he's a boomer! It's, um, a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Objection! Oh, shut the fuck up! Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so- Oh, he's gonna get you back. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? You are the one literally defending a guy who literally was clearly the fucking problem. So don't fucking start with me, Edgeworth. I will choke you by your ascot. Also, apparently in this version and in the 3DS version, there was a tenth statement from Cody that apparently got cut. Oh, shit. All right. Well, Cody? B what? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? No, that means you have information that we crucially need. So you... So you did have a camera? And did you use this camera? W why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Mm. You're full of shit. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were busy watching. Alright. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, and the bad guy stopped moving. He was so strong, the steel samurai rules! Yeah, kid. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination? Gladly. He's not an ascot, it's a cravat. It's a thing around his neck that I can choke him with. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> yep, you had your camera, but I was, couldn't take your eyes off it. The steel samurai goes wham. Then the guy stopped moving. Okay. I was glued to the action. Yeah, you had your camera with me. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah of course! You didn't turn away. Not even once. N no Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah I'm getting that! The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules! Okay, I'm gonna have to bring- I know I'm gonna have to bring up this fucking thing. I'm gonna have to bring up his path to glory, his literally this, because this is literally where he takes all of his shots of that final blow. But where to land that final blow, though? Is it he this would probably be the final blow. So I'm willing to bet it's here. I'm willing to bet it's here. I wanna... Um, hold on. Hold on. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person! He was a person! How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai! I see. And what happened next? And the bad guy stopped- Why? Huh? 
What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because well, the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? H how did he do it? With a samurai kick! And a samurai punch! Samurai chop! Samurai slap! S something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? I want to press him. Because on the poor basis of... He... Clearly was watching. He didn't look away once. He would know exactly what's going on, and he probably was waiting for that final shot. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated that he saw what he saw quite clearly. Objection! Shut the fuck up, Edgy Boy! You know as well as I do that he was being vague! Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? Mm. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Order? Order! Mr. Wright! How could this be? Can you explain how we might have missed something so vital? Um, well, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? He was preparing his camera to take the shot. I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer? We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Zero Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? I want to say he show evidence because he was trying to take a shot. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. I want to say the camera because he was looking at the camera. I don't want to bring the, the thing here. So it's the camera. Because I feel like he was looking at the camera lens to try and get the shot. So he was so focused on that, he didn't see the quote-unquote killing blow. Because well, it also says in the description, he's still learning to use it. Ah, okay, fair. Oh, that's a detail I didn't figure out. See, I was just figuring he was trying to get the shot, not actually learning how to use it. I'm dumb. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he's recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that, too. Ah! Correct! Why would Cody be looking el somewhere else at a critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. W what's your problem, Pops? You gotta think for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? It's either you missed it or you didn't miss it and you have a picture. You have a picture, don't you, friend? Yeah. You don't have a picture. That's surprising. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. He means business. Your Honor, the defense would like the request that Cody Hackens testify once more. V very well. Cody? Could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. You have a photo and you're hiding it. Or, you are very unlucky as a kid. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. Had just escaped the clutches of the villain? Okay. 
Adult brainworming. I'm gonna brainworm a little bit. What if the guy who was in the steel samurai outfit carried his body, and of course it looks like the villain has him in his clutches, but he pushed the thing away. He pushed the evil magistrate away. Pushed basically Hammer away and started attacking it. I don't... Why would he attack it unless they knew that Cody was there? Unless he, they knew who Cody was there. So... Because I'm like, this, this is... This is important. I'm willing to bet this kid is telling the truth that this is important. He had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. That means the villain had his arms wrapped around the steel sam. Meaning, if we are thinking, if if my theory is correct that he was killed in Studio Two, the Steel Samurai carried his body from Studio Two and had his arms had the, the Jackhammer's arms wrapped around him, which made it look like he was in the clutches. So I held up my camera to take a picture. The lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Yep. I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Mm-hmm. So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess this Joe Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? So I held my camera to take a picture, okay? But the lens was so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground. And the steel samurai. That's all that happened. Yep. Are you sure? That's all? Y yeah! I told you I didn't take a picture! Hmm. I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? No, I know you fucking took one. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something there I can use. Cody? Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. W wow! This feels great! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Yeah, I'm thinking that he tried to tr not trip over his pant legs. Because remember, those pant legs were reaching the ground like they were, like, covering up his toesies. So yeah, he's tripping. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. You erased them? Y yeah why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai, Victorious? Well, you know... Why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm. He's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon or solid evidence. How could I pick holes in such a short testament? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Okay. This is the other side. I'll have my camera to take a picture. But I missed it. It's this one. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has Did too he? many buttons! I couldn't figure it out! Oh, sorry, I, th I thought you already pressed the statement. Not yet. I tried to take a picture! I really tried! Oh. The lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased Just as we've we already pressed this. We've already pressed this. We've already pressed this. We've already pressed this. The contradiction is that there is no contradiction. I have to bring up. I have to, I'm gonna have to bring up evidence. Because you would literally hit yourself for not having. Yeah, you have to have this. Yeah. Yeah. No, you have something. Okay. Fucker. Cody. What? Man, every time you see Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. 
Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Seal Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I caught them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Huh? Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all of his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order? Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly wouldn't expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. It's still on your camera, isn't it, friend? No way! No way! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what the truth- what a truth it is! Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually- Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? I'm torn between one and three. If the floor's photos were blur blurry, it wouldn't be a perfect shot. The only reason why he wouldn't keep a photo, though, is if the Steel Samurai didn't actually win the fight. He only w he only takes a picture of the winning blow. But if he didn't win, the photo wouldn't exist. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone! Ever! Your Honor. The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take the picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was an inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit that what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. He couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> oh, order. I will have order. What witness? I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you say? Tell the court what you saw. I... <laughs> Sorry. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right? <laughs> okay, okay! You're right! The Steel Samurai fell down! But then he didn't move! <laughs> order, order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Hey, it's called actually questioning a witness until finding the truth, bitch! The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell! Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Hammer 
Warthog was the victim, 100%. The hammer is the victim, but so was the Steel Samurai. So it's both. It's it's one or two, and yeah. So I was like, so the Steel Samurai was not the actual person that killed. It was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order! So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? Was Jack Hammer shorter than... We were... The only, like... Photos we've seen of him was... Like, the... The sparring match, or the the action sequence practice, and... The lunch. In the lunch. So we never really have a true, like, height comparison. Yeah, there was no comparison, because... I'm willing uh, to bet Will that he's shorter. Down. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that Jack Hammer is shorter than Powers, based on the length of the pants. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run-through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived- On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Oversized pants, Vicky. But it's still impeding a walk. But why would the victim do such a thing? Guys, I know the pants are oversized, but they're by an inch? Yeah, sure. But an inch is not small enough to walk over by your whole foot. If we saw that walk, we saw that it literally covered the bottom of someone's foot. That is way too long to be oversized even by an inch. I know it's oversized. That's the point. That's the point of proving that Will Powers wasn't the Steel Samurai. That's the point I'm trying to make. I feel like I'm going crazy! I... don't know. I get it. Huh? I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Uh -huh. Me? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. D data Yeah, a photo of my digital camera! What? Show us, quick. No way, man! Not if you're gonna look at me like that! No! Here, this is it! What about it? Studio 2! Well, looking at this, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive. Yes, it is! It's Studio 2! I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix! Mia, what? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Y Your Honor! May I see the photo one more, please? Uh, so certainly, I, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him! There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts that we know of him in this photo. It's the gigantic two. Yep. It's the giant two right up through here. Take that! Your Honor, look at this! I see... a gate? Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? Ah. 
I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. The little bitch. <laughs> the fuck you say right? Now you're the bitch around here. <laughs> hmm? Eh? What's this all about? Who's the real bitch? I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here, in Studio 1. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the same time of the murder? It does not say 1 on the gate in that photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Get it with me, please. Here, at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the true on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. Uh... The path was, yeah, the path was blocked. So there'd be no way to get to Studio 1. Yeah, either 1 or 2 would have been it. Fine. Oh. The path of the trailer was blocked. So we've heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones who had access to the scene of the crime, Studio Two. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio Two. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was at Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Mrs. Olberg, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? W w no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. Sleeping pills, bitch! I have proof! You do? Yeah, you bitch! You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised, totally I'm less confident. I think I'm right. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Bada bing, bada boom! This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes? But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. I would say test Power's blood, see if the medicine matches. Well, no, probably... How many days has it been since the drugging? Probably would have washed out by then. 24 hours, most likely. If we fingerprint the bottle, and no, because no one touched the entire thing, not even the assistant could clean up, probably fingerprint the bottle. Um, idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle with fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <clears throat> I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings in the current trial for today. Cody Hackett's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. Okay. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. Mm -hmm. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. 
And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mm-hmm. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. Okay. I have a theory. I'm going to lay my theory down on the table. Because I keep thinking about this, and it's bothering the shit out of me. It's been bothering me since people have been yelling at me about it. The fucking pant legs. The fucking pant legs. Steel Samurai has been walking funny this entire fucking time. We know this, and we also can see in the photos, he is literally walking on his own pant legs. We also know, personality-wise, Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer is pretty much a disgraced action hero, to where now he only plays villains. Hear me out. It's one of two things. One, well, set up to it, but setting up to it, he is so pissed off at the fact that he plays villains. He basically took the costume and walked over to Studio 2, knowing the producer, the director, and the bigwigs were there, and tried to basically say, let me be the Steel Samurai instead. Because, you know, actors be like that sometimes. Some actors be like that sometimes. So here's the one of two things. I don't want the answer. Do not give me the answer. This is just me putting out my theory. Do not give me the answer. I don't want the answer. If anyone knows the answer and you see a spoiler, fucking tell them out and ban their, well, ban their ass instantly. I will get your ass banned. But one of two things happened. One, he tried to impress the producers and they got so pissed off that one of them literally pushed him and because he had no footing because of those fucking pant legs, he literally fell onto that fence and died. And thus, the producers and the director had to cover it up. That's one case, where the, they were so pissed off at him that they pushed him onto the fence. Or two, and this would be the stupidest fucking thing. He tripped and fell on his own fucking pegs, trying to impress the director and producers as the Steel Samurai. And fucking fell on the fence and killed himself. Well, remember, um, Cody saw the, the murder happen. But why is the fence bent? That's the thing. Because he was in Studio 2. He saw, like, he saw probably an aftermath. Because here's another thing. Here's another fucking thing. If we're thinking about the fact that the Steel Samurai was being carried by someone, who's not being mentioned as the evil magistrate, by the way. I've noticed that Cody doesn't say it's the evil magistrate, even though that is a very particular character in the Steel Samurai. It is just some random person. So it could be that someone carried the Steel Samurai and then killed the Steel Samurai, kind of like laying him out there and all that stuff, trying to get him away, but then realized, oh shit, the lath is blocked by this gigantic fucking monkey head. We can't do anything until they clear the monkey head. And then we move the body. Because I'm like, that fucking fence bothers the shit out of me. And who else... Other, like, so we know the producer might not have the strength to carry that spear, unless we assume the director somehow stabbed him. So I don't know. But, hmm. That's two trains of thought. But anyways, that's where I stand. Moving on. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to consider your stance. Uh, sorry. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor, this trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. All right, we're out of here. We're out of here. October 19th, 2.47 p.m. District Court, Defense Lobby, number one. Whew! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. M me too! Really? You both seem so, so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. 
I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead? <laughs> of course, we're kidding. Oh, yeah, totally. We were totally, totally. kidding. To yes, we were kidding. <laughs> Isn't that right, Phoenix? We were kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we will find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. Okay. So it's either the director, the producer, or the big. We have him at the big wigs, so I'm assuming the big wigs have nothing to do with it. It's the producer and the director that got pissed off. All right. Thank you, Cody. All right. We're kidding. <laughs> we weren't kidding. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Huh? Maya! So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive. And proof. Wow, that good going, Nick! Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? It's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days? Don't y'all need to do that, Sonic? Thing? Brian gave me permission to finish this trial to, before we get into it. So, we're going to try and finish it, and then Brian can literally spend the rest of the night, if he wanted to, playing Sonic Frontiers. I, like, I 100% will provide him with any sort of caffeine he needs, any sort of stuff he needs in order to play Sonic Frontiers to his heart's content tonight. Because tomorrow, we have a date. Uh, so, yeah. Um... Uh, what happens to the prosecutor if he's caught selling a witness to lie on oath? I'm not sure. I honestly don't sure. I'm not sure. Um, so under that system, the trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. All right, so let's, let's not even waste time. Let's go ahead and head to the studio. Well, guess what? I'm already here, so fuck off. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> Why are you kissing me? Why are you holding me? Why? <laughs> You're a <our> baby. <laughs> October 19th, Global Studios Main Gate. Hi. Hi. Hello. The old one back sure is quiet today. Okay. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Hmm. Nick? I think her guard's down. Y yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat, you die. <laughs> ah, she's alive! Okay! I get- I'm sorry, we, we have to return back and talk to her- talk to our client. October 19th, Detention Center. Visitor's room. Brian told me to talk to the, the, to the client, so I'm going. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Uh, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed them in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP! One day, only one day left! Let's make it count! Yes. Though well, there's not really anything I can do to help. Sure, what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Okay. Uh, let's let's talk about these three people. Let's talk about. It. Could you tell me more about Mrs. Vasquez? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at a global studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares to tell her different DJ. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And? What? Nothing. Forget it. I I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Really? Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. 
But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the steel samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. Salmonella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. Uh, what was your relationship with Mr. Hammer? Just pure curiosity. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. Well, he was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yeah, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? He was, I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer! He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Mr. Vasquez came to Global. Interesting. Five years ago? So Hammer and Vasquez have a history. Because when Vasquez started working at Global, that's when Mr. Hammer stopped working the big numbers and started being the villain. Interesting. Um, I'm nothing I can really talk to you about, friend. So, uh, we're just gonna move on. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the studio. Hey, did you see the studio with Mr. Hammer? About Mr. Hammer. Ah! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer, you drag a star down from the sky and stop at it! Calling him a criminal, a thief! I, 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 I won't forget this! Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper! My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing! Why would he steal power in his costume so he gets sticked by me? He would never stoop so low, it's impossible! I guess you're not going to talk to me about anything. Um. Um. I was speaking of, I was, I was wondering about B.D. Vasquez, the producer. Ah, oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Interesting. Can I ask you about Salmonella, the director? Sal? He's a soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? Stares at oh, every you single sweet person. Innocent child. Stares at every single person who has a degradation kink. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Not, no shaming here, but there are just people that like that because it brings them back into reality or is there some catharsis into it? I don't know. It's just a power thing. And, you know, more power to you. I'm not judging. I myself have a major praise kink and some kinks that I'm not going to repeat on stream because I don't want people looking at me weird. <laughs> but, nonetheless, <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no, no, it doesn't, Maya. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Actually, could you enlighten? Do you have any information about the monkey head? Straight up? Um, Miss Obag, what do you think of this? Think. I'm not in the mood for thinking. Thank you very much. Okay, straight up. I just want to, I just want to ask. Okay, so I guess we'll go fuck off then. October 19th, Studio on Entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume, and he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer? No, I think, th I think he went on his own to kind of be like, hey, let me be the Steel Samurai, and tried to make a fucking scene, and of course something happened. Uh, so let's go ahead. October 19th, Studio 2 entrance. Hey, Nick! It's Miss Vasquez! Miss Vasquez? Vas Vas Vasquez? Vasquez. Vasquez. Thank you. Hello? Hello! I'll say we're here a little too early. I'm not yelling in my throat. M Maya, you should at least try to be polite! I'm watching the clouds. 
That's all she had to say, apparently. Okay, so we're here early. Where do I need to go, then? Employee area. I figured as much. Me going the wrong way. Of course I'm going the wrong way. I'm always going the wrong way. I just want to explore, man! Alright, here we go. I guess they're not filming today, either. I did want to see them filming just one- What? What would they film? Their villain is dead! This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. And this is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Ay, 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 ay. No, 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 no touching. Eek! Don't shoot. Relax. Chill. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. I, I figured as much, but dude, chill. You have three brain cells now. Three, I count them three, I'm very proud of you, but take a chill pill before they light up on fire and you set fire to two of them. For every paid deduction he gets, he gets a brain cell. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack! <laughs> I guess I could be a little dramatic at times. Dramatic? Dramatic? Don't make me take away a brain cell. I suppose this isn't the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Why? Wait, are you looking for the sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Ah, okay. So, uh, you, 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 did you find anything on the plate? So, you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? It's always important to stay hydrated, kids. Yep. For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Really? Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to those sleeping pills, see? If they're traces of it, it'll change color. You, you, you I, I, I'm going to reward you half of a brain cell? Being that... I would don't think that's how that works, but okay. Half of a brain cell. Does, oh, if, you find, if you find the plate that has it, full brain cell. If you find it, full brain cell. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Only bad part of not having Twitch streaming is that we can't make Mickey drink. I mean, eventually down the line, I want to be able to have my mix it up. So basically what my mix it up will do is basically those will be like channel points. The freebie channel points and all that stuff, and because mix it up, I'd be able to do all of that. I just gotta configure it possibly. Um, but once I configure it straight up, um, then I should be able to have all of you collect points and be able to use them, and then we can have that where I can bring back my hydration um, point um, re uh, recall and all that stuff. I just gotta kind of work with it, so give me some time. Oh! Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate added to the court record. All right. Um, how's Edgy Boy doing? Is he wanting to jump off a building yet? How's Edward doing anyway? Ms. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth! Why are you why are you a light by this? He literally just mutilated his hand with second degree burns. You're proud of this? Second or third degree third, second or third degree burns. Depends on how hot the coffee was. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles. Say, so, whatever happened to them empty with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of saving pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. We well, found the victim Jack's hammer's prints on the bottle. Yep. So that means... Yep. Sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Saving pill bottle added to the court record. Alright, uh, so how's the investigation going? Oh, I thought I saw the cats. My bad. To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. So 
Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. But I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I reward you the fourth brain cell, officially. You now have four brain cells. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you, Gumshoe. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Don't make me take it away. <laughs> Don't make me take it away. <laughs> um, okay, so we have... Okay. Traces of uh, sleeping pills and a large bone. Okay, so... All right. I'm going... Off to the dressing room. I guess we're going to the dressing room. <gasps> oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! Okay, hold on. The last episode? What do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No. No! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. What's the policy? Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want to steal Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids that love Steel Samurai? That's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. And I'll find a new hero to follow. No! That can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure! Nick, say something! Um... Yeah. I think evidence rather than words is over here. Here, take a look at this. It's gonna be the scrapbook, isn't it? Yeah. Take that! And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. <laughs> You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Seal Samurai costume, too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. Okay. Is the rumor he was trying to sleep with Vasquez? Did they originally have... Were, were they dating and there was a rough breakup? Is it... it there's, a, there's some beef between Vasquez and Hammer. There is some beef there. The rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, the producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Oh, I, I know what dirt means. <laughs> About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Oh, that changes my theory a million by a million. If they never change the set, then... Oh my god. Did Hammer kill someone? Did Hammer kill someone on set? Is that what happened? Because that fence, basically, that was a dangerous fence. Someone could have gotten majorly fucking hurt. And if Hammer killed someone, oh my god. Okay, oh, oh my god. 
Oh my god! Okay, that changes my theory by like a million fucking years! Never mind! The fence had nothing to do with it! Never mind! The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set then? Can you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died. And it was Hammer's fault. There it is! Hammer killed someone! So someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Ms. Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's what... That's the dirt she had on Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Ms. Vasquez asked him to! But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if the word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks, we'll try asking her. They shall talk. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get her to talk, but I appreciate it. Thank you! Alright. Why, you're still slinking around? If you like the play so much, why don't you take it over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget him! Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick! <sighs> Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Um... Old bag, I don't know how you're gonna react to this, but what happened five years ago? Um... I wanted to ask you about five years ago. I had a feeling. Who told? Who'd you hear that from? I, uh, huh? N Nichols! N Nichols? Nichols. Nick. Penny Nichols. The assistant we talked to? Oh, 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 right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whipper, whipper snappers! <laughs> Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less! How's also, Penny Nichols? <laughs> Where? Is you get it? It's like a goose! <laughs> is, it, is her brother uh, Dime Quarters? <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, I suppose you think it is fun? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume! You expected me to believe that rubbish? Would you have some kind of proof? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, we do. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Hello? Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so... This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Hmm? Ha! I bet Powers put it in there himself! Even a little lightweight like him, I mean, he would have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. Fingerprints. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Oh, now we're calm? Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Oldbag? Okay. You win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. A photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. A photograph? <gasps> oh 
Oh my god. W wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight a bad guy at the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell into the flower box- uh, the flower box fence. But how did you get this? It... was a long time ago. I don't feel... much like talking about it. I understand. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Um... I have a feeling that I know exactly who to talk to next. Uh, yep. <laughs> nice why I was saying that we were here a little early. Nothing to say, ma'am? She's not even looking. Where? But what? Where did you get that? I, well... Old bag. Old? She means the security lady, Mrs. Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyway. Miss Vasquez. You hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more. Inside the trailer. I don't like what that implies. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Yeah, um, I would suggest having some sort of self-defense weapon of some kind with you. Um, I would suggest a tactical whip, as those things hurt like a bitch, and you can't even grab them when they come at you, and they're really great for self-defense. Just saying. I was kind of surprised in the five years they didn't bother, like, fixing that dent. <laughs> right? There's some flowers here. Yep, yeah, oh, yeah, it's dangerous, yeah, I know. Um... We're gonna die. It's fine. <clears throat> you came. Okay. <sighs> what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. <laughs> so I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star! Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But... but you were the cause! You pressured him! And to think it was just an accident! Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying, accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? Murder. No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. W where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years? Over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but security lady said it was an accident! <laughs> well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. Ah, okay, so she got involved. So that's why she had the photo. 
She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence! Boys? Of course, because you have ties with the fucking Mafia. Um... Who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing... various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? W what The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. It, no, tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. No. Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. You got it, boss. No! Oh, Gumshoe, let's go! Hold it right there. Gumshoe, you are about to receive another brain cell. I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez? You're coming down to the precinct with me, now. <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. The gumshoe brain cell has got a P5! Sorry, this is what she said. I'll see, uh, we'll see in court. I immediately reminded of that one clip of Billy and Mandy where Billy's like, I'll see you in court. And he's sending like a fucking tennis court. <laughs> right. Hey, Gumshoe. Hey, you okay, pal? Should we give him two brain cells instead of one, make it six? I think one's more than enough for him. We'll go five. Just, it's fine. Five. He'll earn more later. He'll earn more later. Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared! Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. <laughs> Yeah, you're staying at five brain cells, buddy. <laughs> okay, I got one more job to do today. I'm sure we're running into each other again soon. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? Eve Vasquez. Ten bucks that she got to the director to kill Hammer in defense. Because literally, he would literally jump at everything she says. Okay. Okay. So that's- that's gonna be hella interesting. Alright, let's finish this. Let's finish this so that Brian can go play Sonic Frontiers. Let's go. Let's do this. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Willpowers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edwards, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Mm, very well. Edgeworth really seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day.
You okay? Will the witness state her name in occupation? <coughs> you want me to take over voice acting? You sure? Okay. Dee Vasquez. I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer for Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, I do it when I'm not here. <clears throat> Very well, Ms. Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick! I know she did it! Make her pay! Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down. So to speak. You think she has cash up? <laughs> I entered the trailer a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards. We went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the, in the meeting. It was at 12.30? Wasn't it the 12.15? No. 12.15 is when the monkey head dropped. 12.30 is when the break happened. 12.30 to 12.45. 2.30. 2.30. That's 12. 2.30. Bye, bye. Alright. We took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks in the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with that monkey's. With uh, what with that monkey's head toppling over. Okay. So that's the. That's how you can travel the body. If need be. I. I see. Mm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. Okay. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do this! Alright. I entered the trailer a little before noon. The meeting had 12 sh began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards. We went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I'd say I'll take me. Hold it! And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Quit hitting your desk, you stupid bitch. <laughs> the fuck you... Shut up. It was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T1 steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone with you who can verify this? Sal. N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. I had some evidence to prove that she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick? Find anything? I kind of wish she had said a little more. It's hard. I think she's used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. I thought the trailer a little before noon. Hold on. I'm just looking at stuff. I'm not trying to, like... Okay. Before noon, the meeting had begun. And then it just dropped. There was a rehearsal. Afterwards, we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I just had to sell take me. I was doing a thing in break. I feel like I've been at the presser on literally fucking everything. No. Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me into Studio Two van. Oh, oh. Do you remember something that was different about those plates? That was different about the plates? The one specifically that was in Studio 2. Oh god, I wish I had a better memory. Were they eating T-bone steaks? Were there bones on those plates?
Well, I have no way to contradict that, though. That's a problem. I Fuck! I didn't mean to press the goddamn fucking button. Button. Shh, fucking oops, exactly. I have no evidence that could negate that. Yeah, you do. Do I? And a large bone. Don't tell me that this is the evidence. Don't tell me that this is the evidence. The plate with the T-bone steak? I will literally... Oh my god. If this is it. And the music stopped, because of course it is. Ah! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. Well, what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's... a plate? This plate was on the table with the employee area. As you can see, a lar- Hi, sweetie. As you can see, a large bone was left behind. Actually, technically, two. I know, honey, but give us, like, eight more minutes. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? I'm gonna throw this bone over your fucking head if you don't see the fucking problem here. Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Oh, there are no bones on those plates. But there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Ms. Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. Yeah, it would be very hard in 15 fucking minutes to eat a T-bone steak. You took your steak and threw it somewhere like the incinerator. <clears throat> I, I see. Then what was Miss... Then what was Ms. Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai! Order? Are, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. While Ms. Va as Ms. Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then, you did it. You killed him with your own hand- No, I think you got the- I think she got the director to kill him. <sighs> Mr. Ro oh, sorry. I see you look at the cat. I saw like- Isn't it a little presumptuous? Objection! What kind of stun are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say, I did it? Yes. I think you directed it. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. <sighs> Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Can we please? Hmm? Can we please not have it be a chess match? Please. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The Samurai Spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? No, she couldn't. She's. My goal is that she literally used the director to kill. Because the director would literally jump when she demanded. No, she couldn't. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty as that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. <laughs> you see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning... The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Huh? Wait, they use the pike again? Are we insinuating that they use the pike again? What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. It's the kid's camera, isn't it? 
Because the wait, no, because the kid didn't take the picture. What am I fucking saying? Also, the spear is broken, so it wouldn't be used at all. So. Hmm. I believe that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Hold on, what's the autopsy report say? Cause pierced to the chest by a spear. But. Hmm. Oh! Are we gonna use this photo to insinuate that it was the fence? Fuck it. I'm down to try it. I have a bunch of health. Fuck it. Take that! Wrong, Mr. Ray. What? What? I haven't said anything just yet. I know you're, you're not present you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can send it to you oh, with wait, my fey blood. Okay, okay. I picked up the wrong evidence. Enough of the, all that sensing. Right. <clears throat> Here's the right evidence, Your Honor. See, I'm like, fuck it! I mean, that would work! Like, I was like, are we insinuating that? So... Yeah, Cody didn't take a picture. Did the Cody take a picture? No. Oh, wait. It, Cody it took a picture of... The samurai in Studio 2 didn't take the picture of the weapon. So... Yeah, because if we point out the samurai spear, we can we can pretty much so see that it's literally mended with duct tape. It would not be able to. Yeah, it's broken. Take that! I present my proof: the so-called murder weapon. B but that is the murder weapon. So called, not so fast. Remember that the spear is broke during the morning action scenes run through. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man with wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Oh, order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? We're in a courtroom, dummy. Right. Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I want to say it's the fence. I want to I want to insinuate it's the fence. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Not the point! <laughs> Very well, let's see this murder weapon, then. Bada-bing, bada-boom, we're insinuating the fence. Look at this photo. W what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order. No, 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 I've got to be right back. Got to feed the babies. If I cannot order this trial, will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth... You still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again! Mr. Wright, continue. It was 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had done himself five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. 
<laughs> in other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way he caused another man to die. Five years ago! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Alright, Ben Shapiro. Yet, the body was found in Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no least. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15-minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 10.30 to... 10.30. 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? The van. Easy peasy. There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She can move it. She... Okay, yeah, she, she can move it, yeah. Wait, no. She herself cannot move it. I know how detailed these words are. She had another way. So she had a van, right? Because if I said that she could move it, that would imply that she was strong enough to do it. So she had another way. She had a van. What if she had another way to carry the body? Other than her own hands. For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for her you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Bada-ing, bada boom Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. <laughs> Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. <laughs> Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manila that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manila was a conspirator? to say yes, technically. Because he was sweating mega hard and trying to lie. Of course, Salmonella has to have been the conspirator. The body had to be placed in the- we don't like Salmonella. <laughs> the body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Ms. Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget they had to dispose of the steel samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burnt it in that small incinerator. Well, Ms. Vasquez, shall I continue? <sighs> no need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? Um. So, what happens next? <sighs> Don't mm me! Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean... d so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer! I think it's pretty obvious. Who can say? Ah? Uh -huh. Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. 
And the result of that battle? You prove the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, mm, uh, of course, it's as the witness says. Oh, don't be smug, you fucking smarmy bitch. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there is no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh, what do I do now? <sighs> Here's the thing. We could pull the kid. The kid could easily point out saying that's the one that did it. Because the kid wouldn't have the kid saw what happened. So we can base on the testify of the kid. Look, would there be needing her to testify again? I don't think she needs to testify. Well, it doesn't really matter what you pick. Yeah, I'm like... Yeah, I say we pull the kid in again, so no further questions. Yes, Mr. Wright? I was hoping I'd come up with a question while pounding on my desk. <laughs> I didn't. You have my sympathy. I appreciate it. Damn it. Damn! To come so far only to fail. <laughs> As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Ms. Vasquez. Edgeworth? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come God up with a question- damn you! While I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> I didn't. You fucking moron! I hate you! Give your brain cells to gumshoe, goddammit! I see. Very well. Objection. Your Honor. Now you have a question? I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Ms. Edgeworth? I, too, see a little point in making Ms. Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm, well, yes. Um. Edgeworth, come on. Do, do not make me give Gumshoe one of your fucking brain cells. Indeed. Verily, I say. Ergo. Oh, my God. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <laughs> Nick! Why did Edgeworth- Because Edgeworth knows she's a lying sack of shit! Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But- But- Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that- Edgeworth. Edgeworth is a good piece of boy. Just pat on the head. He just needs to not be on the wrong side, like an idiot. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Oldbag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. I see no issue raised by this testimony. It's all right, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, we're real close! She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter! Find the key you need to twist the truth out of her, Nick! Right. All right. Let's think about this real hard. I was just saw in the old bag of we found the body. Sure. The assistant went there to- Hold it! 
Miss Powers, Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seem calm enough and I accused you of murder. <sighs> no, fuck you. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? Other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the friends on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. I immediately called the police and Powers showed up. What was everyone else doing at this time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Silence. Hey, hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up! The security lady old guy was quite agitated, pointing at power saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. Hold it. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot of writing on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Mm. Hmm, this one's rather tough. We got to press one more statement. Okay, let's press this one just in case. What time was that? We were to meet at five for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manello arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh, what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen with what people are saying, boy. Boy? The witness will continue her testimony. No, okay, so I may call the police. Old security. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him go towards the studio. Right, to steal Sam. Did the detective arrest Miss Powers based on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in there that I can use. Okay. Is that why you were in the trailer when I saw you? The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't have- it wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. You were looking for 13, right? Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and no- Yeah, wait, hold on! Yeah, straight up! That didn't- That didn't cross my mind! Like, wait a minute! You didn't bring your script to your fucking rehearsal? There it is. 
Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. But you went to the studio not knowing that. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah. Right? You almost got it. You almost there. It was right at your fingertip. Mm. Very well. Ms. Vasquez, please continue. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Edgeworth, do not be stealing my thunder, man. Come on, I'm supposed to be the one judging. Oh, okay, whatever. Huh? Phoenix, come on. Edgeworth probably figured it out. She walked into a rehearsal without her notes and claimed that she couldn't rehearse with a murder. She knew there was a murder that happened before she even walked in. Think. Ms. Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She knew the murder happened. She would have had to know about the murder before going into Studio One. <laughs> order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution will make such a move. Because they're switching their they're switching their uh, client. They're now trying to prosecute her. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? It's still a prosecution on her! I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand on my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Ms. Vasquez. Do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me! <laughs> so the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Hold on, you weren't even there! How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. You have to find something to pick this on her here, or everything you've done for her up to now will be wasted! I believe in you, Nick! Go get him! This is the one that's bothering me, Gal. Because it's believable to assume that Sal told her. It's assumedly. But if Sal didn't, then this would be the... I'm, I have a bunch of health. I might as well fuck it. Objection! Music stopped! I'm good! You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Oh, shit! It didn't cross my mind. She said Hammer. I'm like, oh, wait, no, it was Powers who was injured. Fucking Lamau. What? What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in the photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? What person was injured in the run through that morning? That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? <laughs> I, I already said it was Sal who told me. Th that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. That's the he saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything of Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your very own eyes. 
Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? But mind you, Hammer was pretending to be Powers. Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah. And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in a Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. <laughs> order, order, I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing! Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? Oh, shit. There might be one. Self-defense. He went to go attack her. And blame it on pa He- Oh my god! Hammer went to go kill her and try and frame it on, ha on uh, Powers. But she self-defended and got killed. So it was a self-defense. Oh, shit. That might be the only motive reason. Fuck! And it's self-defense killing, so it's not necessarily murder. In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Hold on. Hold on! Hold on! I mean, I could pull this out my butt. So... But this would be the only connection that, that might be a motive. Because it he did be, kind of yeah. screw things up a little bit. <sighs> yeah, it's like, what's the worst that could happen? You lose a little bit of health? Yeah. Okay. I have proof and I'll show it to you. I presented the court with evidence as Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that because of what happened here, shit got screwy. She got massively put into like some sort of debt or something like that, and she had to warp her way back up, and she got frustrated as shit because of this. Take that! This is my proof. This is the photo from before? This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <clears throat> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, and those who do not bend to the whims of the binary, the case currently up for the trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from start. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as an evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the ex-star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you've only talked about Mr. Hammer. Yes, because I think Hammer wanted to kill her, and she killed him in self-defense. So that's the motive. Self-defense. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who killed D. Vasquez and not the other way around. What motive would Ms. Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say... I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Giggity. Hmm? Mr. Wright? Please explain Ms. Vasquez's motive for the murder. 
She had no she had no motive. Yeah, that was that's easy money. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. Oh, Miss Vasquez, Miss Vasquez. <laughs> oh my God! All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. Oh fuck! I was right. What the fuck? What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Mrs. Vasquez. Miss Vasquez. You said it again. Vasquez. Thank you. What? 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 <laughs> Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him for all those years. <sighs> So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! But you didn't find everywhere, we're too late! Ah, Miss Vasquez! What, what happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No! No! How could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No! Manuel! Man oh no! She was in love with the guy that died! Oh, that's why she was pulling his- Oh my god, she was in love with the guy that died, and that's why she punched Hammer! Fuck! Ah! Don't- don't touch him, Miss Vasquez! No! Please. Please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. Mr. Edwards, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. Thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. So that that he should be found only that he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not Guilty! How lovely! Yay! And all the confetti everywhere. Will somebody stop bringing that damn confetti to the courtroom? Sorry, sir! That is all. This court is adjourned. Oh, that's kind of depressing. But at the, at the same time, she is kind of an asshole. Like, yeah, sure, you like the guy, but it was an accident. And yet you're gonna take it out on the guy that she had a, that he had a scene with? Like, bro, relax, chill, relax. Well, I mean, the important thing is that, you know, the, the main thing is that we got our client off innocent. Extremely fair, yeah. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Ms. Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder... It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Mr. 
Because the Steel Samurai one versus all of his, like... No, I'm, I'm feeling it's this one. Because it's literally the showing that... But at the same time... Yeah, it, it's, it could be either that or the, the photo. Yeah, it's like, because it's truly showing that Steel Samurai won each time. So, yeah. Well, this is what I... Th Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because you were the Steel Samurai. Take that! It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And it's a villain to boot. I'm sorry! I'm, I, I, I hate to be the negative Nancy here. I would love to be a villain in a kid's show. I would love that. I've already... If, you, if Some of you might not know this, but during um, one of um, Afma's side, side stories, my, my Inner Demons, I played... Humbly. Lady Bish. You know, Lady Bitch. <laughs> but, like, I was technically the villain of that series, and I love... I love playing villains! And if you give me more villain roles, I would love to continue that, so... I don't know, I'm sorry! I would not be having such a horrible time, I would love it! So, like, love out! People already, like, call me a freak and already, like, hate me and put me on blacklist and shit. Fuck it, I don't give a shit about your opinion! Let me play a villain, fuck you! But anyways, <clears throat> moving on. And so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. Oh, I know some ca some actors don't like being tap cast. One hundred percent. I don't mind it. It. I guess the only frustration I have is when I'm not allowed to extend beyond villains. I, give me villain roles. Absolutely, I will be absolutely grateful for every every villain role I get. But the only frustration I have is when I don't. I'm not allowed to go beyond the villain. So th there's that's the difference. It's okay to not want to be typecast, but I'm not going to say no to a villain role just because I'm typecast as a villain role. <laughs> so, yeah. And I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh, <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the steel outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty cum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. Is something wrong? N no, uh, of course not. <laughs> Nick, Edgeworth. Hi, Edgy boy. How you do, intact team partner? Are you happy that you're not being a shill for the prosecution side that literally has you on a string defending criminals like an asshole? Bitch. <laughs> Say something, right? I'm not good at... Pfft, words. I'm not good at small talk. Well, I can clearly tell that. <laughs> Just from you, like, blubbering your mouth. <laughs> huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? Yeah! I hate to voice your bubble, but I believe from my memories, they have school memories together from little boys. Then, so it would be like, I think it's Larry, Edgeworth, and... Phoenix all went to like the same school, right? Not like an orphanage or anything like that. It was like a no, school. No, it was an elementary school. Okay, cool. I'm like, it's like, it's not an orphanage or anything like that, right? Nah. However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary 
feelings. Oh no, I'm sorry. Someone of the legal system having feelings? Oh damn, oh darn. Oh, what are we gonna do about that? Yeah, that bitch steals all of your fries. <laughs> Sorry, there's a fry on the floor? Because we got food earlier, just to kind of like ease like some sickness that we were having. So we got some food, and there's a fry on the floor, and one of our girls tried to go up to the fry. <laughs> and also, Edgeworth, I say this from the bottom of my heart. This is a safe space. We are pro-LGBTQ plus rights. But I'm still at that Berlizzi clip where it's like, you're gay. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> you're gay. It's okay. It's understandable. And even if you're not gay, it's okay to be asexual while having very conflicting friendship feelings. It's completely fine. It's okay. We understand and we accept you. Unnecessary feelings? Yes. Unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Okay, Edgeworth, here's the problem. No, I'm not going to put the, put the soup box away. Put it away. Put the box away. That's not going to happen. I smell it in the air. We are rivals. <laughs> Consider the nice case, yeah. We are rivals. We're going to see each other again. And so, uh, suck my nuts. That's what I came here to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if! They're rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now, we are. I guess. Huh? Why do I get to feel like I'm missing something? Come on, Nick! Tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial, and I left Maya out in the open, and not telling her a damn fucking thing. <laughs> I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Oh shit! Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant! Fine, fine. I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead? Is he playing Pink Princess? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time! I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real willpowers. Is, is Will Powers legit playing Pink Princess? That's kind of cool. I don't know. That's kind of fucking cool. Hold on, what? A brand new episode has been added? The fuck does that mean? Does well, that I guess mean? we're gonna have to find out until next week. The fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Brian, explain. No. Brian. I gotta go. Sonic Frontiers is calling. And uh, I made a promise. So I'm gonna be on your side, everyone. And I'm going to be in that cliffhanger stage of, but, 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 but. Well, again, you're not gonna find out until next year, so bye.